Come and join us this Christmas day where the fabulous Carol will be playing Father Christmas and bringing you cheery deals throughout the festive morning. She will be bringing you a joyful deal on our mystery 10 strand bundle. She will also bring to you our ever so popular storage carry case, perfectly timed for the new year. Carol is also joined by her festive elf, Mark Smith, who will be launching his long awaited brand new DVD, Craft Fair Tips. All of this will be on Christmas morning, 9 a.m. till 1 p.m. on Jewelry Maker. You can now watch clips from Jewelry Maker on our YouTube channel. Get interactive with Jewelry Maker. Jewelry maker past. You cannot keep all these deals for yourself, Scrooge. If you do that, I won't be able to offer the double trouble, the blue deals, and the triple trouble deals. Ah, humbug! Did someone say that? I'm the ghost of Jewelry Maker present. I cannot allow you to keep these gemstones to yourself, so I'll be taking over as presenter Carol. Now get out! Merry Christmas, Governor. Oh, get out of it, Dickens! Oh. oh, so I suppose you're the ghost of Jewelry Maker to be! Yeah. Well, are those the new deals that are coming up in the new year, are they? Well, we've got amazing deals on tools and tanzanite and labradorite. Well, I want in on this. Well, all right, I promise. I'll share. I'll share. I'm a changed man now, yes. I want to share all my gemstones. Oh. Merry Christmas, Gavin. Get out of it, to Ooh, Merry, Merry Christmas, Christmas. Merry Christmas, everyone. If you're new to Jewelry Maker, simply contact our call centre and we'll send you a tutorial DVD and Get Started booklet all free of charge. As peace of mind for your Christmas shopping, any purchase you make from now until Christmas can be returned to us until the 31st of January 2015. Good morning and welcome to Jewelry Maker. Uh, my name's Ed, thank you so much for tuning in this morning. We are gonna make it worth your while, as always, because we're joined by the very talented <laughs> Fiona Potter. Hello. How are you, Fiona, you all right? I'm really well, thank you. Excited? Very excited. <laughs> I should just tell everybody, the reason Fiona's so excited is that we're launching her DVD this morning. So uh, this is, Capturing memories in resin. It is, yes. So was this a long time in the in the planning? Yeah, making? it was. Yeah, and we filmed it in the summer. Right. Um, but I can remember what we did. Yes. <laughs> um, and it's yeah, capturing the journey of a wedding day. Nice. So this is uh, one of the best things about resin as a it discipline is. because you can make them so personal, individual. Absolutely, absolutely. I mean, this was a very special couple, um, friends of my son's and ours and I've taken the jewellery through the course of their wedding day. And so you can actually sort of tell a story through your jewellery. Yeah, absolutely. Or, or you, can, you can make it a snapshot if you wanted, yeah. but this piece is a That bit piece particularly tells, yes. is it, that one's the narrative piece, yes. You can see here all the images from the wedding day and little sentiments in there as well. Uh, you can see, I think I've just turned away from it, but yes. <laughs> <laughs> so that's like the invitation. Oh, it's beautiful. So isn't yeah, it? we start the day with um, you know sort of photos of the dress, the shoes, the flowers, and we take through the journey of arriving at the church. 
absolutely gorgeous and of course you take us through all of the different techniques you'll need to create absolutely. those little sauces. Yeah. perfect maybe you know um i'm thinking as like an anniversary gift maybe a year on something yeah. like that would be fantastic it is it? i mean there's just so much that you can do i mean it can be a day it can be a week it can be anything that you want it to be just capture it in resin and then put some little gemstones and and other trinkets with it to make it really personal to that person beautiful because, of course, it doesn't have to be a wedding, it could be a birthday, like a, a, a 40th or 50th, yeah. something like that as well. Yeah. Lots and lots of texts already <laughs> coming through to say people are poised and waiting for the launch <laughs> of your brilliant. DVD. You. There you go. Um, it's kind of like, it's been a bit of nervous excitement. The house, that, actually, what it's yeah. Been this morning, it's, I do, yeah, I feel, do feel nervous. I'm very excited. I'm just thrilled that it's, it's come out. I had great fun creating it and um, we had a really good um, session filming it as well really enjoyed Fantastic. that but now um, I you know I just hope everybody likes it I'm sure they will <laughs> that is going to be coming up around about half 10 11 a.m we've got so many treats to pack in this morning because of course we have got the uh, the second installment of the wire ribbon the, the wire lux launch which uh, carol brought you yesterday morning we've got some different colors this morning uh, more neutral shades actually because i think we've got silvers the turquoise and the, uh, the kind of chocolate brown the bronze tone as well so all of those coming up throughout the show and songia sapphire faceted rubies don't know where to to begin well actually i do the early bird that's how we start the morning show so if you've got up nice and early this morning we're about to give you an absolute treat because I already know the price point. 118 pieces of silver plated coppers, uh, coppers? Copper findings. <laughs> I missed the word out. That's what it was. Uh, silver plated copper findings, kind of a um, standardized finding pack these days within our kits. Although, you know, they're very impressive because you get so much within the findings packs. I won't say what I normally say because everybody takes the mickey out of me. <laughs> oh, that's not fair, I is it? I say that I act like Uncle Albert, reminiscing about the old days because I always say, well, when I first started on the channel, there was only one findings pack yeah. and it had sort of 26 pieces of silver. But now, this is a quite an expansive collection of findings. You've got these uh, detailed toggle clasps, you've got uh, three different kinds of head pins, you've got your little featherweight head pins. There you go, there's everything you're gonna get. You get a meter length of chain, and actually you've got um, little detailed head pins here, little floral head pins, and what else have we got? Fancy bindings, ribbon cord endings, jump rings, crimp beads, crimp bead covers. It's all going on in here, 118 pieces. And of course, bindings are essential for all jewelry design because they're basically the mechanics of your jewelry, and they will hold it all together. Although I have to say, because of the uh, the detail pieces you can really make these a feature of your designs as well these days 118 pieces lots and lots of people getting involved already and you haven't even seen the early bird price yet so the usual price point for this collection is 9.95 already very very impressive but we don't want to give you that that's not an early bird special and we are definitely going to get your orders up and running this morning with an incredible price but a 495 that's what happens when the boss is in the chair sales manager <laughs> Scott is producing the show this morning and uh, I'll tell you what it was the Christmas do last night I think he's a uh, I think he's still a bit worse for wear, quite frankly, <laughs> going to prices like that. <laughs> wow, well, there you go. No wonder so many people are already multi-buying this item. Expect a queue on the phone lines. Just, uh, do you know what? I think you're waking people up. People are, maybe people are in a bit of a haze when they see that price point. Unbelievable. 4 95 for silver-plated copper. I'll show you these head pins again because they're so impressive. I was saying that you can make a feature of the findings themselves and look at that detailing in there how much could you pay for you know detailed findings like this from other suppliers this is the beauty of shopping with us here at jewelry maker of course we offer you the most competitive prices on the market there you go everybody's taking twos and threes of this now all of a sudden not surprised we look 4.95 fiona that's got to be the lowest that it's ever gone for isn't it well it certainly is. it's got to be i've never it seen is. it below 6.95 i don't think no, there you go. I mean, 995 is an incredible price point, to be honest, but 495 
absolute insanity. Mm. There's lots of excitement in the galleries. So everybody's uh, getting excited. Well, I suppose you can understand why when we're taking silver plated findings to 495. Do you know what I always think about the great thing about uh, the sort of silver plated items is if you are a jewelry maker who has expanded their business and now you work sort of one on one with, on personal commissions, which lots of jewellery makers do these days. Yeah. The great thing about the silver plate finds is that you can kind of create a mock-up design, show it to your client in the silver plated findings. Once you've kind of had the design signed off, then you can go back and finish it with 95 sterling silver. Or of course, it does also allow you to create um, a range of prices. So you can have the same design, but in silver plated, sterling silver, and maybe gold plated silver. Yeah, it just gives you lots and lots of options, doesn't mm. it? Well, we don't want to be limited as do we? That's no. no good. And that's the point of uh, all of the deals we bring you here at Jewelry Maker, just to uh, allow you to express your own personality and your designs, much like I suppose we're doing with uh, the uh, memories in resin DVD. Yes. There you go. <laughs> 4 95 this morning. That uh, will be available throughout the show, but we're going to have to move on as people still come flooding through on the phone line. So uh, if you do enter a short queue, don't panic. It's a free phone number here at Jewelry Maker, of course, and one P&P per day. So if you already plan to get hold of the DVD or the Ruby or the Sapphire this morning, then that is the perfect addition to your order. So you can maximise on that one P&P per day. And of course, this is going to be the last weekend where we can guarantee delivery before Christmas. I think the final day is the 17th, but of course, uh, you might not be watching during the week. So this could be, oh, I think it probably will be the last weekend where we can absolutely guarantee um, delivery before Christmas. Great stocking filler, of course, 4 95 And while we're on the subject of Christmas, let's give everybody an advent deal. We're straight in with some of the uh, wire ribbon, the wire looks. I'm going to be careful here because on Friday morning I knocked everything out because I was a bit too vigorous when I opened the window. So there we go, I'll just be careful today, there we go. So yes, the, uh, the 14th. And here we are, this is the, uh, the rose wire ribbon. Ah, now we've had a lot of discussion about um, this kind of colour tone over the weekend. And basically, it's versatility. Last night on uh, The Late Show, I was joined by Hannah Osborne, and she was working a lot with the rose gold fine. She, she was saying it adds a lot of warmth to your designs, of course. But uh, I always think it looks great with uh, feminine colours as well. I'm going to open it up. So, excuse me, being a bit fiddly. There we go. Um, now, this is kind of, it's kind of like, um, the way that um, Hannah Oxbury described it to me, it's kind of like, um, elite wire mesh that's how she described it because it has that same kind of fluidity to it although much more detailed um, we also have spent quite a long time trying to get this in stock uh, in fact i'm talking about years since we first were aware of this product but we haven't been able to source it at a jewelry maker price shall we say um, it's not readily available in this country uh, or it hasn't been until Jewelry Maker came along. There may be independent suppliers who've managed to, to get hold of it from the States, but it's not readily available. And uh, we've done our own price review. And generally, in the States, this is uh, coming in at about $48. So very uh, expensive product, um, traditionally. Although, of course, you know what we're all about here at Jewelry Maker. We use our buying power to get hold of these products and offer you the best value on the market. As I say, you know, I can't be 100% sure of what other independent suppliers are offering you in terms of a price point, but certainly based on our own price comparisons, we are definitely very, very competitive on the price point because we're not going to get anywhere near $48. Uh, okay, so um, during the show yesterday, Scott was doing a little bit of a... Uh, price comparison, shall we say, online. What was what was the price point? £27. Oh, I suppose that probably is roughly 
48 dollars or i don't know what the exchange rate is so i won't say that uh, <laughs> but 27 pounds is the price point that that scott was able to find online as i say do your own price comparisons if you wish but we're fairly confident that we are offering you a very very competitive price because the price point this morning is 14.95 amazing now we did have some opportunities to own this yesterday but in uh, different variations of the colors wasn't it so we had uh, the uh, the blue colors the champagne colors this is what the rose gold looks like oh there you go so i was just saying setting it with the feminine colors look at that hot pink in there that's gorgeous doesn't it stunning absolutely beautiful it really adds an extra dimension to your designs doesn't it because of course it almost looks like um wire detailing of course but you don't have to have the skill to do the wire wrapping i've never seen it before but i i was drawn straight to it this morning when mm. i saw those pieces they're fantastic detail That's on that wire is amazing isn't it so much texture to your designs. Mm. Is this something that you would work with? It, it is now I've seen it, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now you're aware of it, you want it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, I suppose there's going to be a lot of buyers out there this morning who might have never seen this previously, but now they're flying in on the phone lines. Once again, a huge number of people multi buying. Sandra's got three. John and Janet, you've got three. Zena's got three. Regular buyer here at Jewelry Maker. Zena's always making use of her 1 pmp per day. I'm thinking Zena's got a pretty successful jewellery making business, as I'm sure many of you have. Judith's getting two of these as well. Lots and lots of people multi buying. I will show you the length because you get 20, uh, 20 millimeters is the um, the width of it, and you get 24 inches of this beautiful wire ribbon. Uh, I think some some places describe it as is it wire looks wire looks. So it's, it's kind of exactly as Hannah Roxbury described to me. It's like your deluxe version of your wire mesh. Yeah. That's how, that's how I see it. Um, because uh, you can really go to town with the designs, can't you? You can see what it adds to that design in terms of a, a different dynamic, a different texture. It just looks so high end, doesn't it? I mean, you, you would find it quite time consuming to create this effect using your wire wrapping, your wire weaving. I know that some people absolutely love those kind of effects, but if you wanted to I speed think, up the process. I th yeah, I th I'm, I, it's taken a lot of the hard work out, out of it for yes. you, hasn't it? Absolutely. But it looks so luxurious. So it if does. it's called wire looks, I mean, that's a very apt description, isn't mm, it? Yeah, absolutely. It is gorgeous. It's absolutely beautiful. Um, there's a lot of people who are placing this in their baskets this morning. I always say this, and I hate to sound uh, repetitive, but please make sure you're checking out your baskets this morning. We only have a certain amount to go round and hate for anybody to miss out because they leave items in their basket. Uh, of course, that's just a sort of signal of intent. You do need to check out to ensure this is uh, heading your way. Nearly 100 of these have been allocated to people's How many did we start with? Oh, we have got uh, quite plentiful stock supplies in, in, in our warehouse, uh, although, this is pretty much our exclusive launch, certainly of this colour tone. So it could be a question of here today, gone today, although we are confident that we've got enough in stock. Mm. It'd be nice if there was one lot left at one o'clock. Uh, <laughs> yes, there you go. <laughs> Scott says that he, he's quite confident there'll be some left at one, Fiona, Good. for you. I'm so pleased. Thanks, Scott. <laughs> I'd still keep my fingers crossed. Fourteen ninety five, incredible price point. As we say, uh, we have done a little bit of research ourselves, and uh, the lowest price point we can find from other suppliers is twenty seven pounds. Uh, we are able to offer it you this morning for fourteen ninety five. That's more like it. That's a jewellery maker price, isn't it? Yeah. And of course, if you are getting involved with this deal, maybe this is the first time you've seen this item. You've instantly fallen in love with it, and you're adding it to your basket. Don't forget. We just brought you that findings collection for 4.95. So there's your add it to your order price. Maximise on your one PMP per day. And if you are paying just 2.95 as standard PMP, this could be the last weekend where we can guarantee delivery before Christmas. So if you're getting hold of this and you're looking for some stocking fillers, make sure you're ordering from us this morning. 14.95 for 24 inches of your rose-coloured wire ribbon or wire look as some people refer to it. Lots and lots of people getting involved. Still, a huge number of people multi-buying this item. Amazing. We do have other colour tones coming up throughout the show. Uh, I will show you them, actually. Why not? Let everybody know what's coming up so you can uh, 
get prepared for just how much you're going to be <laughs> investing in this morning. Although this is going to go an awfully long way, isn't it, Fiona? Yeah. 24 inches here. Uh, yeah. So you've got the kind of a uh, chocolate brown or bronze colour tone coming up. Then we've got this kind of teal or turquoise shade. That's going to be popular. That is stunning. That's beautiful, isn't it's, it? That is absolutely stunning. And you know, we'll go, some, go fantastically with one of the uh, shell pearl bundles ah, that's coming up later. There you go. You know more than I do, mm. Fiona. There you go. Um, <laughs> I imagine that is going to go quite well because it's almost like a kind of gemstone colour, isn't it? Yeah. So that's going to work. Actually, it go, would go nicely with your top. It would. It would go very nicely. I, it, it might be, you know, a must-have purchase might go for me. From yeah. the desk, is that it what you're trying just. to say? <laughs> 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 uh, if you, do you want to? Should, do you mm. want to add it to your challenge? Perhaps, yeah, that so would be really nice, us? actually. Yeah. Shall we do that? <laughs> okay. Yeah, we'll give Yay. that to you, and that way we'll get some inspirational jewellery. Oh. There we go, I'll Thank pass you. it over. There we go. Okay, so we'll also provide you with some inspiration. That's the beauty of having our designers on the show. We've got designer on every single show today. Uh, and we've also got the silver tone, again, adding elegance and luxury to your design. So this is coming up. Second trick. Ah, okay, so we did have um, one of the silver varieties on yesterday morning show, and it was actually the most popular colour tone flew out the door yesterday so get on the phone lines very very quickly for that one i would say that uh, anytime you see something you like the look of this morning get involved as quickly as possible of course it's a free phone number so you can get on the phone lines very very quickly you can always put the phone down but of course if you miss it you will miss out so please get involved as quickly as possible and uh, we have extended our money back guarantee until the end of january so risk free shopping experience here at jewelry maker the only risk of course is if you dilly dally because then you might miss out. So please get involved as quickly as possible. Still people coming through for that particular item, not surprised based on our price point. And uh, we better move on because actually, now that we've uh, expanded your challenge, we better let everybody know what you're actually uh, going to be working with this morning. Mm. So uh, which one is it, sir? Oh, look at it. <laughs> as if I needed to ask, Cassandra is on. Cassandra's our floor manager this morning, but she's been there. Uh, very diligently setting everything up for us and this is the challenge that we're bringing you and these are the uh, the teal shell pearls that you alluded to yes look at oh, those oh look at this <laughs> that is a perfect match it is so the kind of turquoise wire ribbon is a perfect match with the shell pearl that we're giving you in the show look at that wow you want to get <laughs> hold of both of those don't you yeah definitely beautiful color tones i suppose these are some of the most popular colors within jewellery design actually because you've got kind of amethyst purples and uh, turquoise or teal blues actually this is kind of like an amethyst purple in your six mil shell pearl then you've got this dusky blue or teal colour and then in the eight mil rounds this is a bit of a richer colour tone more of a burgundy shade it is it's sort of it is more of a it's almost like a red wine kind of colour isn't it Absolutely. Thinking of Christmas parties. <laughs> yes, there you go. Kind of mulberry, or mulled yeah, wine. Yeah, mulled colour. wine, mulled wine. Go. Yeah. So yeah, because um, <laughs> with the shell pearl, the beauty of it, of course, is that you get a similar effect that you would find within your pearls, that that kind of shimmer, that pearl essence. But of course, because it is shell rather than pearl, you've got a uniform shape and size. Yeah, but you, as you say, you still got all the beautiful luster that mm. you would get with a real pearl. But yeah, that comes uh, that occurs naturally because of the nacre that you find on the shell. But as I say, because it's like reconstituted mineral, you can create a uniform shape. So we've got perfect six mil rounds in uh, the teal or turquoise kind of just off turquoise. How would you it's describe the colour? Well, I would say that it's, it is that sort of tealy, but it's it's a, it's a cool teal rather mm, than a yeah. warm teal. So it's almost got a sort of um, a silvery tone it's got to like it an as icy well. It is, and sort of yeah. looking at those, you know, these really, to me, stand out as winter sort of colours. Mm, absolutely, because so like you're saying, you've got the kind of uh, almost festive-like hues from the 8 mil burgundy tones, and then you've got the icy tones. Yeah, tones absolutely. The and they well, look really sort of classy, and I think with them being shell pearl, mm. and so you've got the even size, they lend themselves to more bead weaving techniques, ah, because you've got okay. that uniformity. Absolutely, I suppose it just makes it easier if you're working with a perfect round, because a lot of people kind of master the uh, 
the more basic techniques yes. using ba uh, perfect rounds, don't they? They do, and, and they just lend them. So, as I say, the c these colours are stunning. They're absolutely gorgeous, and a perfect combination of colours as well. So they kind of a uh, there's a nice transition. There is, absolutely. Lots and lots of people already on the phone lines for this particular deal. And I suppose it's because so many people have already got their orders up and running this morning. 8.85 is the intended price point for these three strands. And most people coming through at that price point. But that's not the jewellery maker price this morning. We're going to go down to Bargain Town. Six ninety-five. Whoa! I told you. Are you are, are you all right in there, Scott? Is that Christmas party <laughs> taking its toll on you? <laughs> no, he says this is these are the prices. These are jewelry maker prices. I have to agree. Six ninety-five for our shell pearl offer. There you go. Most we had uh, over fifty of these allocated at the original price point of eight eighty-five, but. Uh, Actually, a lot of people who had already got involved are now doubling up on their order. So, uh, congratulations if you are taking two or even three of these. You can see how quickly they're flying out the door. That's going down in twos. So we started with 150 of this particular bundle, although I uh, haven't got quite as many of that uh, available now. So, uh, yeah, congratulations to all the people who are multi-buying. Andrew, Monica, you've got two. Alison's got two. Rena, you've got two. Sandra's got two. We're never going to limit you in any way here at Jewelry Maker. It's our aim to be your one-stop shop for all your jewelry making needs. And of course, we understand that off the back of uh, the success of uh, Jewelry Maker and jewelry making as a hobby, lots of people running small businesses or even, I suppose, quite successful large businesses, some people, I guess. And uh, therefore, we know that people do want to get hold of wholesale price points and really sort of stock up on these deals. They're a good Christmas present to um, buy as well, aren't they? Absolutely, yeah. Um, I was just sort of thinking, you know, you could you could have one of them, um, one of. In fact, I might even do this to show later. If you had a okay. piece of memory wire, you could have one of those in the centre. Yeah. And then sort of do a pattern with the others around the outside and have it going around, have it like um, a serviette type ring for the table. Ah, yes, and with then the, uh, the bracelet with, yeah, memory wire. And then coordinate it with um, wine glass charms. Well, um, as I say, if that is your intention, and maybe Fiona's just inspired you, as I'm sure lots of people are like, little light bulbs going off when you said <laughs> that. Because lots of people do like to dress their table for Christmas Day, don't they? It's the one day that of the year that you can just go absolutely bonkers, isn't it? And absolutely. really Why over not? the top and, you know, go to town. It can be a bit more fun. ostentatious on yeah, Christmas Day. Yeah, absolutely. Why not? Frivolous um, and fun. No one's going to hold it against you on Christmas Day. No, absolutely. And uh, if you do intend to uh, maybe create items, for Christmas Day. Make sure you are flying in on the phone lines right now. As I say, this is the final weekend where we can guarantee delivery. Um, I think if you're paying the premium PMP, which is still just 495, then we might be able to get it to you in time. If you're intending to pay standard PMP, which is just 295, start ordering now because of course can't guarantee that it'll arrive after uh, I think it's the 17th is the final day, but of course it's the 14th today, and uh, who knows whether you'll be able to shop with us. You know, at the start of the week, you yeah. might have other commitments during the week. Just don't know, do you, at this time of the year, things just go awry. The yeah, whole I've system seen some, does, doesn't um, it? Some of the biggest delivery companies already suspending yeah. their deliveries for a few days so they can catch up. So it has been a busy time. And um, I know, happen to know that there was a bit of an error online with a big site last night. Yes. A lot of people got um, items yeah. for a penny. Did you hear about this on the well, news? I, didn't, I missed that one. Yes, and so uh, lots of people took advantage of that, so I imagine that's going to have uh, put a few delivery <laughs> companies under pressure mm -hmm. as well. Um, so I will just say, please ensure that you are ordering very, very quickly. Uh, 17th is the final day where we can guarantee delivery with our standard PMP, but this could be maybe your last opportunity to shop with us. And, uh, and there, there's all the dates. So uh, if you're shopping in the United Kingdom, for standard delivery, the final date is the 17th, but premium delivery the 22nd. Uh, if you're going you know, to the other side of the world, Australia uh, or uh, New Zealand, South Africa, then you know, uh, it's going to be earlier in the month, depending on where you live, basically. Uh, you can see all the dates there. And I think details of that will be available 
on uh, our website if you go to the website. Um, but one thing I do have to make clear is this bundle won't be available tomorrow morning anyway. <laughs> so if you want to get hold of these, you do need to get involved very, very quickly. As you can see, two thirds of the stock or there or thereabouts has already been allocated at 695, probably because so many people multi-buying. This is Fiona's challenge this morning. So she will be uh, creating inspirational designs. Second swing. And of course, we've added in the uh, wire lux ribbon, the, the, uh, the turquoise <laughs> or teal coloured ribbon. I will show you the kind of designs you can create with that particular ribbon. There you go. That looks gorgeous, doesn't it? Stunning. But you have to uh, say, with those teal pearls, that is a perfect combination. OK, so two thirds now have been allocated, although I think the quantity bar is uh, struggling to keep up with us this morning. We are very, very busy. And that's probably because of how incredible the deals have been so far. Findings pack for 4 95 a great addition to your order. We've already um, launched one of our new wireless offers and we've now brought you three strands of shell pearl for 6 95 But without further ado, should we give everybody another deal? Oh, Beryl, you're saying. I thought you were saying some bales, and I was thinking, bale? Sorry. <laughs> Sometimes it's not always clear what people are saying in my ear. A uh, beautiful Beryl. Absolutely fantastic. One of my favourite gemstones on this strand. Regular viewers will know. I'm a bit girly when it comes to my gemstones. I do love the Morganite tones, those beautiful feminine pinks, those pastel tones, and a fantastic combination, actually, with your aquamarine. So another very luxurious gemstone collection a bit of a family reunion going on here because you've also to my eye is that a little bit of gosh on the on the strand as well perhaps absolutely beautiful here multicolored beryl fantastic family of gemstones of course and it will depend on you know which element is predominant in the kind of chemical composition as to what variety of beryl you get so when you get say chromium that's when you start to get emerald when you get manganese, that's when you get the rich pink tones of your morganite. Um, it's actually uh, copper um, that gives you aquamarine. And that's where you're getting the variations on this strand in your aquamarine because you've got kind of icy blues, sky blues. You've also got the kind of lagoon greens coming through from your aquamarine as well. So very luxurious and well-known gemstones, of course, we do have a special relationship with Morganite here at the Genuine Gemstone Company because we own the largest cut Morganite in the world. And uh, I think we had it checked, it was around about 890 carats. <laughs> it's a very, very impressive item to have within uh, the collection here. 170 carats in total. Again, perfect rounds. So very, very easy to work with. We are a little bit limited in availability on this item. Oh. Very limited, in fact. So just those three of these already people coming flying in for this. And we are going to offer you this strand at under £20 this morning. Amazing, for 170 carats of beryl. I mean, actually, I'm just looking at this and I'm thinking maybe, maybe macrame designs. I mean, can you imagine an, an aquamarine macrame bracelet? Especially for a March baby, Aquamarine is March's birthday, so that'd be fantastic. Good. A lot of people are now starting to plan their spring collections, aren't they? If you work season to season, of course. And uh, there you go. Scotty Too Hot, he's just uh, given you an incredible opportunity to add this to your order because he's taking it down to 14.95. So that's the equivalent of your P and P. Just come flying off the price of a very exclusive strand of multicolored beryl. Morganite and aquamarine here. Uh, a little bit of a queue forming on the free phone number. As I say, don't panic about that. You will be answered in the order in which you dial and you're going to come through to a very friendly member of our help team. So they will uh, help you to add that to your order. But you better hurry. We've only got 24 opportunities remaining at 14.95 for Morganite and aquamarine. Two of the most luxurious and exclusive gemstones on the planet this morning for 14.95 absolutely loving this and actually it's quite interesting to see these gemstones in this finish because we don't often see 
perfect polished rounds of aquamarine and morganite, more often than not, you'll find faceted varieties. And that's traditionally how these gemstones are set into jewellery design, of course, because you want to show um, the clarity within the gemstones. However, one thing I will say with um, something like morganite, for example, is that you actually get the depth of colour from the inclusions. They're not kind of intrusive inclusions that you find in beryl. They're almost silk-like inclusions. So where you get the, uh, the deeper colour tones is actually a more included gemstone. So yeah, some of your customers might be aware of these gemstones, but they might never have seen this polished finish before. And so you could be introducing your customers to a variety of beryl that they've never experienced previously, and that might lead to greater sales. As you can see, we are now approaching very, very limited availability on this item. Just 12 opportunities remaining in stock at 14.95, which is effectively a clearance price for the last in stock. I can see this being a sellout deal. This, uh, I was going to say this evening. Now I'm still in late show mode uh, this morning, but. Um, even if you do sort of uh, take your chances and see if there's any available tomorrow, it will be back up to the original price of 17.95. So I probably suggest this is your opportunity to get hold of it. We have extended our money back guarantee. So if you get it home and it's not 100% perfect for your designs, you can simply send it straight back to us. Uh, I don't think too many people are going to be returning this though at 14.95. Uh, I'm going to leave this one with you because uh, there's still a lot of people adding this to their basket at jewelrymaker.com as well. And um, we are going to move on to our first kit of the morning. Of course, this is the, uh, the concept which the whole channel was based upon, providing you with everything you need to get started with the hobby of jewellery maker. And of course, these days, we have expanded the, the concept of our kits so that experienced jewellery makers can also benefit because they can replenish all of their stocks at once. Just before we have a look at what's in it, I do have a quick announcement to make, if that's all right. I ran a little... Uh, Twitter competition. I launched it on Friday afternoon and I did say that I would uh, reveal the winner this morning. So I better uh, let everybody know. So basically, I gave everybody the opportunity to win this beautiful Labradorite set of jewellery. It's been created by one of our guest designers. Lariat style necklace featuring Labradorite and a little charm ring as well. You can see that there. A little bit of movement in your Labradorite. That's what you want to get that Labrador essence there. And, um, all you have to do is uh, retweet and favourite the, uh, the tweet and you are entered into the draw. And uh, this morning, my son woke up nice and early, so he made the draw for us. So Freddie pulled the winner. He was all excited. I said, who's the winner, Freddie? And he said, Freddie! <laughs> 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 um, but actually, it was Jen Wilson. So there you go, just to prove, I did uh, write all your names out and cut them all out this morning at half past six. Uh, there you go. So Jen, you are the winner. I will put that out on Twitter, but those will be sent out by the lovely Wendy, who uh, deals with all these uh, admin things in our office. She's fantastic. So congratulations to Jen. Well done. There you go. There you go. You've won the Labradorite set on Twitter. If you do want to get involved, uh, you'll find me on Twitter at EdPresenter. And uh, I'll do another one next week. OK, uh, so moving on, time for our first kit of the morning. This is a brand new kit and uh, it's called Winter Forest. When you see the colour tones, you'll understand why. Beautiful forest greens running through here. Actually, again, almost kind of teal-like colours. This would go beautiful with that wire ribbon again, actually. It would, it? actually, yeah. Love these colour tones. These are really interesting. Ah, OK. I have to admit, I was a little bit confused for a second there. Because you've got this sort of kind of swirl of colour tones here between almost a kind of royal or navy blue and the green tones on these ovals. These are 10 by 8 millimetres, 120 carats. It's actually green and blue lapis lazuli. I know, it floored me as well when I, when I looked at it. I had to go back to see the kit list yeah. to remind myself what it was. Very, very, very pretty, isn't it, actually? Yeah, absolutely. And uh, again, a slight alternative variety, yeah. you don't see it very often. Traditionally, Lapis Lazuli, of course, is going to offer you the blues, but we don't see the green varieties very often. No. And, uh, you know, it's not very often that I'm uh, confused with my gemstone classifications, <laughs> but that is uh, certainly something very, very alternative. I'm really impressed with that. Um, 
we'll move on because we've those are in the oval form but we do have perfect rounds in this kit here oh now these really are offering you the forest greens this is uh, your green quartz in your three mil rounds perfect for so many different techniques whether it's your classic beady beads or maybe your soutache or maybe just as an accent gemstone within your designs perfect for those then we've got a little bit of more of an organic finish to your tiger's eye kind of nuggets would we say or, or actually they're fancy slices apparently there you go well, that makes me hurt. That sounds like something you'd find in a cream cake, doesn't it? A fancy yeah. slice. <laughs> well, that, these are gorgeous, though. They almost have a kind of pebble-like feel to them. They are. That's exactly what I thought when, when I opened them. They're fantastic, aren't they? Because, again, they add a little bit of texture mm -hmm. to your designs. But they also show your customers that you are working with the real deal. Because, of course, synthetics tend to be very uniformed in their size. But these are definitely an organic mineral. Uh, Gorgeous tiger's eye, and actually we've got a combination between your blue and your golden tones coming through on that tiger's eye, and the optical phenomenon known as chatoyancy as well. And then have a look at these. These are fantastic. These are almost offering you kind of petrol blue tone. Faceted rounds here. It's actually um, gray quartz or, or um, cloudy gray quartz. Almost like a storm cloud gray, actually. It's really dramatic, They're isn't lovely, it? lovely, aren't they? They give you a beautiful luster because of the faceting. You've got 75 carats, and uh, those are five mil rounds. So four strands in this kit, quite deep color tones there with your storm cloud grays, your forest greens, combination of your blue and golds there in the tiger's eye, and then your blue and green lapis lazuli as well. And then we've got one of these fantastic finding kits. Again, 118 pieces, but variations on what you're getting. Have a look at this toggle clasp. Fantastic detailing, look at that. Attention to detail is probably uh, the key factor in bespoke jewellery and of course any little bit of detailing on your findings and your clasps is going to add value to your designs. You've also got your earring findings, your metre length of chain, three different kinds of head pins, as well as your ribbon cord endings, your crimp beads, your crimp bead covers, everything you need to create a beautiful suite of jewellery. And then along with your traditional threading materials um, elastic and monofilament on this particular and uh, also your beading thread of course so that's your um, traditional threading materials that you tend to find in our jewelry kits your beading thread your monofilament and your elastic we've also added a huge array of cord into this particular kit so uh, we've got some of this ah now this is perfect isn't it because this is the uh, the same kind of forest greens that we find on the gemstones here. So this is your wax cord, you get 10 meters of your green wax cord, then you've got, ah, well again you've got the kind of storm cloud grey, the navy blue, uh, kind of champagne hue there, and your black and white as well. Perfect, so that's all of your threads, four strands of gemstones, your threading materials and your findings, normally this would be forty-one ninety if you were to buy all of the items individually. What? Sorry, I keep catching flies, but I've just heard that this is going to go to a price point better than half price. And I have to say, we don't see many kits coming in at this price point these days. Oh, but we only have double figures of availability. Wow, nineteen ninety-five. There might be some people who maybe um, already are experienced jewellery designers and they're trying to get their friends involved in the hobby over the Christmas period, this would be a great gift to provide somebody with, I think. I think it will, because you've, I mean, you've got so much there. It's, mm. a it's an immediate stash builder, isn't it? Absolutely. You've got such a variety of colours and, and types of um, cords in there, as well as the finding pack, all of those strands of gemstones. And, a um, real immediate stash builder. Quite um, neutral colour tones as well, Fiona. So you know, the, yeah. You know, some people are going to be maybe concerned when they first start about the clashing of colours, those kind of things. But these all just work perfectly together. They did. They? I mean, when I first got them out of the out of the um, kit bag, mm -hmm. I pulled a little bit of each cord off, and then I put the gemstones on top of them to see what they were going to do. Okay, that's a good way to start. Um, yeah. And then I realised everything worked with everything, and I've used everything apart from the light 
the light cord. I can't think oh, what okay. colour it is. The champagne yeah, coloured one. Yeah, the kind of nude colour. Yes. Um, and uh, that's because it got stuck under the thing. And I, <laughs> I saw it last night. Oh, it's too late to do anything else now. Well, but you've done a little bit of <laughs> here, which of is not your traditional um, no. technique, is it? No, I, I've got a really good friend called Nikki, um, and Nikki's on the Sunday experience this morning, and yes. she came to play with me. Um, and we play beading and jewellery making every now and again, week, every Why week. Not? <laughs> Why not? And we sat and taught ourselves to do, I think oh, that's got square stitch. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, well, it looks pretty, uh, looks pretty good to me, it considering is. you've sort of self-taught so. when you received the kit. <laughs> see how quickly these are flying out the door fantastic price point this morning of under 20 pounds and uh, I have to say like like you've already alluded to it's kind of a great way to create a stash it of is, jewelry making items it is and really because of the different kinds of gemstones and the colors that they are anyway it, it's male or female jewelry so mm -hmm. I've got a couple of pieces in there that could definitely be male or female absolutely I mean that for me I um, would wear that actually it goes quite well with my uh, it my does shirt. actually and I thought the pebble I keep calling them pebbles because we both thought you know these are these just look like pebbles off the beach they're beautiful yeah that's that's where they my really mind are went lovely. instantly <laughs> <laughs> I can't do it's always, getting, it's always getting the right one there we go it's that one that's why oh can you do it so I'll do that for me yeah this never happens to me. I see all the girls must have such an elaborate collection of jewellery. There you go. Hey, there you go, look and at that. So the other arm. You have a cufflink. Cufflinks as well. <laughs> you can come back. <laughs> you can come back. <laughs> look at that. So this would be a great um, kit if you want to design some gents jewellery. Because yep. uh, instantly, I've just... Um, expanded my jewellery yeah. collection there well it's go. my first ever gents jewellery as well so oh, it really? inspired me to do some gents jewellery I thought no I ha you have to with this kit because it, 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 it can be male female there so it's inspired you to learn a new discipline yeah. and create a new <laughs> range of jewellery well there you go that's all you want from a kit isn't it <laughs> flying out the door at 19.95 as I say we don't see that price point for a kit as inclusive as this very often no. do we no, Amazing. definitely not. So which of our designs are we going to be uh, demonstrating? Well, you'd be very pleased to know I'm not going to even attempt to demo my macrame. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> but I thought the, um, the piece on the end, the far this end one? for me, yeah. I'm this just going to show you how I managed to to get those it's undulating. Kind of wings. Yeah, yeah. It, it sort of happened by accident, actually. Um, and then you did, I did one of, oh, I quite like the way that that's happened. So now let's try and recreate it. And the more I did, the more I thought, it, you know, because it's called Winter Forest, you know, mm. sort of where you're walking through the woodlands and you're going up and down oh between yes. the... So yeah, that, that so works, that does. That, yeah. that kind of flow, that movement through your design. Definitely achieved that. So, uh, yes, let's see how we do it. So then. if I just move that to the side. What I've done is taken three pieces of the beading thread. Mm -hmm. If I just move that down so you can see that. I've put a crimp bead on one end to hold those together. Then on, I've threaded one of the little grey agates on the end. Now on the two outer cords, I have then threaded two of the little tiny green ones, one of the grey agates, and then two more greens. Same on that thread. And then on the centre thread, I've got one of the lapis, one of the grey, one of the lapis, and just alternated them as I go along. You need to move all of them away, apart from just one of the lapis. Push that down to the middle, and then take one of your threads, one of the spare threads that have got the five beads on, and thread it through the next agate, and pull it in. And then the one that you haven't done, take the other one, and just bring that down a bit. Thread that one through the next one as well. And then you have some little bit of fun getting the, the placement right. And this is where I was really, really experimenting to see how these were going to sit. But as you're pulling them together, they're naturally trying to go over the top of that lapis. So just pop the lapis in between, slide the agate down, and you straight away got your diamond. There you okay. go. And that's it. Yeah. It's so simple. But so effective as well. It is actually, and then just pull another lapis down. Now this is where on on um, on air it's going to be, because I, I 
terrible at, at getting the little beads on, so we'll try and get them popped up down there, and I'll try and pick them up these while are they're the on three the beading. Mil rounds, but of it's the little three mil rounds, and trying to find those if you pick them up is actually trying to find the little hole. And they were popping up all over the floor last night, just as we'd done the uh, Christmas decorations. So. <laughs> well, that looks pretty. Uh, pretty um, again, pop that, that one on. Pop two more on. Actually, I'm in quite. I, I, I'm actually impressed with myself for I'm picking those say, up this morning. You set it up like <laughs> it's going to be difficult, and then you made it look. I've made it easy look easy. Peasy. What I can say is, I wish last night it had been this easy. <laughs> <laughs> it was um, one right at the end. I'd done everything else and thought, no, I really want to do something with these. I really want to go to town with them. What can I do? And that was when I started to play. And I just thought, this is really, really working. I've threaded it through the wrong, um, through the wrong bead there. Just to, excuse me a minute. Let's get the other two on. Well, um, I will just say, uh, around about half the stock's now been allocated on this item, unsurprising at that price point for four strands of gemstones, 118 pieces of uh, your silver-plated findings, along with all that um, array of cord as well. So you've got all the wax cord there, love that kind of forest green tone, that is so perfect for this kit, isn't it? And uh, all of a sudden, huge number of people coming through at jewellerymaker.com, so again, Please ensure you are checking out your baskets because under £20 is uh, a price point that's a little bit alien to us on our jewellery kits these days. So uh, that's a great way, especially if you are thinking of getting started. In fact, bear me one second. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just jump out of shot because I was just thinking if it is going to be your first purchase, then of course you will also get your Get Started DVD and booklet. So it'll take you through all the basic techniques you need to get started with the hobby. And of course, that's going to be very, very useful for a lot of uh, jewellery designers or even people buying this as a gift. Um, if you are already an established jewellery maker, just mention it to a member of your help team that you'd like that to be included and they'll send one out. In fact, if you're watching this morning and you're thinking, I I'd quite like to get involved, but I want to know a little bit more, then dial up the free phone number, we'll send you one anyway. You don't necessarily have to make a purchase. That's just what we're like here at Jewelry Maker. Uh, so yeah, great way to get started. And uh, yes, there we go. That's it, and we've got two diamonds in there. So, I mean, it was, okay. it's that quick. It was a really quick make. Yeah, I couldn't believe it, actually. Yeah, but minutes. actually, I think it's, it's quite yeah. effective weave once Absolutely. you've finished it. I love that undulation that you've got, that little bit of so, movement, that flow through yeah, the design. Yeah, and, and actually, if you wanted to sort of make that into a bracelet, that would uh, sort of just drape it over the arm. Mm. It will sit so well oh, yeah, over the arm. Because of the curvature you've yeah, created, it'll be perfect around the wrist line. It's yes. absolutely brilliant. So you could really make you know, sort of two decent pieces. And I think with one of the diamonds, you could then sort of put put, um, put, the, put them together and maybe have a couple of drops coming off there and make them into a pair of earrings. earrings. as well. So I think, actually, I've come across something quite versatile to do. Perfect, there you myself. go. Is that a little happy accident <laughs> It was you? a happy accident, yes. There you go. Well, uh, <laughs> time that we go and find out what you've been creating on the Wall of Fame. Welcome back to Jeremy. Time for the Wall of Fame, and this is your opportunity to have your design shown live on the show. If you don't see your design, don't panic. Everyone will be entered into the prize draw, and every Wednesday you have the chance to win either £50 or £100 added to your jewellery maker account if you are the lucky winner. Uh, and I'm going to start this morning with number 414. This has been sent in by Christine from Ipswich. It says, Hi, Jam. Here's my entry to this week's Wall of Fame a necklace, earrings, and bracelet set all made from green shell pearls and uh, a few crystals from my stash. Good luck to everyone in the draw. Well, that is absolutely beautiful. And of course, once again, highlighting how effective the shell pearl can be. And we've already brought you a beautiful shell pearl bundle this morning. Uh, so, 414, nice one, Christy, beautiful. And I have number 412, and this is from Linda Silver, silver, sorry. Hi, JM. Following um, all the following are all from JM Goods except the box on my card. Cashew pearls, grey and pink, coupled with coupled with straps of rice bead pearls in a grey pinky sheen. In daylight colours, they fuse together to give the illusion of a lilac shimmer. Silver findings and all of the um, cashew necklaces I've put together. I love this one the most because of the colour. 
Good luck to the other Whoppers, although I have to keep my fingers crossed for myself, of course. <laughs> and that's best wishes from Linda in Leicester. And they are gorgeous. They're beautiful, Absolutely aren't they? Absolutely gorgeous. Really elegant. Yeah. I mean, the pearls beautiful. are amazing here at Jewelry Maker. And uh, I've got pearls in this design as well. This is number 415. This has been sent in by Natalie Hodges. It says, I used emerald rondelles and small pearls, all from JM for this set. I want to get it valued as it's one of my higher end pieces. Actually, that's a great idea. Uh, the stones are beautiful, lovely quality and easy to work with. I need to get a sterling silver clasp as this one is the silver plated copper toggle clasp. So a win would come in handy to buy some sterling silver findings. Well, absolutely beautiful piece there. And we have seen people receiving very uh, considered valuations yeah. for the combination of, you know, the, the big five and pearls. So that'd be a good idea, actually. So, yes, congratulations to you, Natalie. And you're number 415. And I've got number 413, and this is again some gorgeous emeralds, and this is from Lisa Chang. Hi JM, here is my entry to this week's Wall of Fame. It's an emerald and gold wire set that I made for myself, as emerald is my birthstone. All components with JM, and I hope you like it. Well, definitely do. I think it's lovely. Absolutely gorgeous set. Yeah, these, these emeralds are beautiful, aren't they? They are absolutely gorgeous. Don't forget, um, we do have two members of the Big Five coming up on this morning's show. Uh, Two members of the Corundum family, in fact, Faceted Rubies <laughs> and Songia Sapphire coming up. Um, I've got number 416 here. This is a beautiful green agate slice that's been used here. It says, uh, Merry Christmas, JM. Please find below my entry to the Wall of Fame. I couldn't resist the green agate slices and thought they were just the right colour for a Christmas necklace, as well as making a nice design for summer holidays. All items are from JM. Good luck to everyone. And that's coming from Sharon in Surrey. That's beautiful, isn't it? And there you go, kind of multi-seasonal mm -hmm. piece there. So Absolutely. that's very useful. 416. Um, you'll see on screen right now that we are showing you the early bird special, which was our silver plated findings kit, which was just 495 this morning. I'm just ruffling around because I did snarfle away the rubies and the Sungia <laughs> Sapphire because have a look at this as a combination. They're coming up later in the show, but I did want to show everybody them. We haven't had a chance yet. Look at the quality of that ruby. And actually that Sungia Sapphire, very rare variety of sapphire as well two of the big four big five depending on how you see it um they're coming up this morning but straight after the break is going to be your opportunity to invest in the brand new chain collection which has also made its way over here and i have to say this is going to be popular we only have around 100 of these, and I have to say we're already very busy this morning, as you can imagine with the deals Scott's been bringing us. Uh, lots of people with their order already up and running. This is going to a phenomenal price. I think, is it, uh, one, two, three, two. 21 different varieties of chain. What you've actually got is seven different designs, but in all three traditional color tones. That's coming up straight after the break, but please get on the phone lines early for that one, because as I say, uh, just 100 available. We're going to go to a quick break. We'll be back in two. Come and join us this Christmas Day, where the fabulous Carol will be playing Father Christmas and bringing you cheery deals throughout the festive morning. She will be bringing you a joyful deal on our mystery 10 strand bundle. She will also bring to you our ever so popular storage carry case, perfectly timed for the new year. Carol is also joined by her festive elf, Mark Smith, who will be launching his long awaited brand new DVD, Craft Fair Tips. All of this will be on Christmas morning, 9 a.m. till 1 p.m. on Jewelry Maker. As peace of mind for your Christmas shopping, any purchase you make from now until Christmas can be returned to us until the 31st of January 2015. Join our guest designer Mark Smith on his Makes for Men DVD. You'll experience many different techniques specifically designed for creating men's jewellery. This DVD will cover how to make a slip knot, railroad bracelet, metal with leather techniques, cufflinks, a wraparound bracelet and a ball chain bracelet. To get your hands on a copy of this fantastic DVD, contact our call centre on 0800 644 655. Get creative with Jewellery Maker. Download the Jewellery Maker app today. 
you can watch our jewelry maker shows live, view all the details of the item that is currently on air, as well as browsing all the items from today's show. You can also minimize the video or switch to use as a companion app. Get the jewelry maker app today and boost your viewing experience. Did you know you can purchase incredible jewellery featuring genuine gemstones on our sister channel, Gems? Come along and see what treasures you can find. Palmer clay I love because it will cross all ages and all mediums. You can tone it with um, lots of different colours to make all the shades um, that you desire. You can mix it with resins, you can mix it with all sorts of mediums, but not just jewellery. You can also do things like um, add it to your scrapbooking, your card making, and children will love it. It's a non-toxic medium, so perfect for all the family. It would just be an endless the amount of things you can make with it. I love it. I just want to wish you all a very, very Merry Christmas. Thank you so much for taking the time over the past, gosh, four years for making Jewelry Maker such a fabulous experience. Hope to see you in the new year. I hope it's very, very healthy and very, very happy for you. And I hope you eat lots of mince pies. I know I will be. Merry Christmas, lots of love, Annie. Welcome back to Jewellery Maker and uh, my name's Ed in case you have just tuned in maybe you're watching for the first time this morning we are going to find a deal for everyone today I am also joined by the lovely Fiona Potter you're right Fiona I'm fine thank you having fun I am I'm enjoying this challenge I'm really not surprised, this challenge. really, because it is rather <laughs> beautiful. Uh, Fiona's working with our shell pearl and some of our wire lux. Uh, a brand new colour tone to us this morning the turquoise colours coming up later in the show that's going to be popular. Um, we also have Fiona's DVD launching probably uh, within the next hour or so. Might be at 10.30. We've got sales manager Scott in the hot seat this morning and uh, he's saying only a roughly half an hour before we're going to launch that. So there you go. <laughs> look at Fiona, so excited. It is fantastic, the jewelry. We'll have a look uh, more closely at Fiona's jewellery and the ideas in the DVD in about half an hour's time right now. We're going to give everybody the chance to own the chain collection. Uh, okay, let's have a look at the chains. And uh, you get seven different chain designs, but you get them in all three traditional colour tones. So your rose gold plated, your yellow gold plated, and your silver plated chain. So I'm going to show you the different styles. Is this the one Cassandra is excited about? She can't. Oh, she's just excited about having to pack them all away once I get them all out, that's what it is. Uh, okay, so there's the, uh, the yellow gold design. I'll try and keep it tidy for you, Cassie. Uh, and I'll show you all of the designs and then you get them in all three colours. Does that make sense? So, there you go. So you've got the oval link there. You've got the, the little ball chain. Ah, you've got the Figaro chain. That's really popular, isn't it? The Figaro chain, because again... I love that. Yeah, it adds texture again, yeah, doesn't it? It does. Anything a little bit different tends to attract a lot of attention within jewellery design, doesn't yeah. it? Oh, this is gorgeous. This is your fine chain. Now, this is uh, not always readily available here at Jewellery Maker, the finer chain. Those may be for some of the intricate designs, maybe featuring your rubies or your sapphires coming up later in the show. Uh, ah, now this is a little more... A little more interesting. Ah, that's an, a, a kind of a variation on the Figaro chain there. Wow, these are really beautiful sort of detailed chains, aren't they? Especially since you've got the gold plating here. Don't forget you get the yellow gold, the rose gold plated and the silver plated chain here. And then you've got a little bit more traditional chain here. This is uh, almost like a curb chain. I suppose. So those are the seven different designs and you get the three traditional metal platings there. So I'm just showing you the yellow gold but you do get the silver and the rose gold. There you go. Um, and I suppose, as we were saying earlier, you never want to be limited as a designer. This absolutely opens up the whole world of jewellery design because you've got every possible design of chain in the three most traditional colour tones. 
absolutely perfect. Now, we only started with around, there you go, that's a perfect image to see everything you're gonna get. Um, all I'll say is, we only started with 100 of these and there's already lots and lots of people coming through at jewelrymaker.com. I know that uh, they've got a slight edge because they can see the price point already. What I would say is, you can always put the phone down but I wouldn't run the risk of missing out on this deal. Well done uh, to all the phone buyers now starting to come through. Barbara, you've got yours. 39.95. That works out at £1.90 per chain. Uh, sorry, I'm um, sorry. I will just say, I, I thought there was 100. There's 123. I wasn't trying to mislead you or anything. No, I, I genuinely thought it was 100. Um, so let me just work out the lengths on these chains. Hold on a second. Hang on a minute. Is that a metre? From, from the tip of your nose to the end of your arm is a roughly a metre. Is that right? Yeah. I can't lift that arm. <laughs> I, I, I've, I've, I've hurt my arm. I don't even know why I tried to lift that arm. <laughs> oh, yeah. There you go then. About a metre. Did you just do that to make me look silly, Fiona? No! <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't do that. I've got you wouldn't do that to me, would you? <laughs> no. Yeah, yeah. We're busy mates. Here we go. So there's a that's thirty. Sixty. Ninety. Yeah, a metre, a metre length. Uh, I imagine that's true of all of these. Yes, it is. So that means you get twenty-one metres of chain for thirty-nine ninety-five. That works out at less than two pounds per meter length of chain. That is ridiculous. I'll tell you what I really want to have a look at, and this is just me being a little bit indulgent now. I want to have a look at the rose gold Figaro chain. Oh, look at that. Can you imagine this with... <gasps> what do you think of that, Fiona? <laughs> Gorgeous. That is a match made that in heaven. Beautiful. Family of Corundum there. Songia Sapphire. Beautifully fasted rubies, all in rose gold plated chain. Figaro chain as well, so you've got those kind of variations in the links added. I think I think the Figaro chain makes the most wonderful um, chain, charm bracelets or charm type. Yes. If you did some little um, sort of clusters of both of those gemstones and hung those off sort of every one of the larger links then you've got the small link in between that would be stunning wouldn't it what you could do as well as you could have ruby sapphire ruby and you could oh, have sapphire yes. ruby sapphire yeah going around the chain like fantastic kind of bracelet but you know two of the big four two beautiful um, amazing imagine that and of course then you are going to be demanding very very high price points for your jewelry because you're working with two of the most prestigious gemstones in the world and you've got that fantastic detailing. Uh, sorry, the, uh, the quantity bar is just struggling to keep up with us there. There is actually fewer than uh, 75 available in stock. They are flying out the door and there is a bit of a queue on the phone lines as well. Uh, roughly a, a minute to a minute and a half, so nothing to worry about there. You will be answering the order in which you dial, as always. I'll tell you another key thing to consider with this, and I know it doesn't sound that important but I know that there's a lot of jewelry makers out there who do get in trouble from their loved ones the storage box <laughs> lots of you are saying can you get your jewelry making equipment tidied up you're taking up four rooms in the house kind yeah. of thing. Not in a long, she knows very, that one. very familiar <laughs> <laughs> so actually the storage box when you think about it can you imagine how much room 21 meters of chain could take up mm. if you didn't have this fantastic storage box here and uh, also, the variations in the links there that you've got. I'm just going to get um, some of the silver chain out as well because we've had a look at the, the yellow gold and the rose gold. Of course, the rose gold is going to add warmth to certain designs, the yellow gold adding uh, kind of luxury and opulence. And then I always think of uh, the silver chain as adding kind of elegance and sophistication. That's mm. my interpretation. Yeah. It depends how you, you um, like to use these metal tones. But I love these, especially for you know this time of year in the winter months when you're working maybe with some of the kind of icy colour tones, the silver just looks so yeah. beautiful, doesn't it? It does. A lot of people 
Um, looking to work with silver at this time of year, of course, because we've had lots of requests for it. And here you've got seven meters of silver plated chain, seven meters of rose gold plated chain, and seven meters of yellow gold plated chain. Can't go wrong. Um, as you can see, roughly half the stock has now been allocated on this particular item. Um, we've also got around 20, 30 of these placed in people's baskets. I can see regular buyers coming through adding this to their basket. So those are going to be. Uh, Confirmed very, very quickly. The reason I say that is because Zena just placed one in her basket. Oh, and true to form, Zena has multi bought the chain. There you go. <laughs> uh, congratulations. Zena is a very astute jewelry maker because she always multi buys. She maximizes on her one PMP per day here at Jewelry Maker very regularly. That's the way to do it. You know you're going to need chain, it's an absolute essential and a very traditional way, of course, to add value to your designs. I mean, the great thing about chain is that again it uh, lifts the limits because if you are selling your designs you don't really know what kind of length people are looking for you always want to yeah. add an extender chain don't you yeah it's imperative you do and you never waste chain either mm. you never waste it because if you are only just left with you know sort of um, a few centimeters mm. a few inches they'll go into earrings yeah they'll go on to extender chains you never ever waste it. No, absolutely. You know, it, it is an essential. Most jewelry makers are going to need that. As I say, it's probably uh, probably more like 30 or 40 remaining in stock based on the number placed in baskets. And of course, if those people were to multi buy, there'd be even fewer remaining in stock. 39.95 is our exclusive launch price this morning. Can't guarantee we'll be able to honour that price tomorrow at 9 a.m. Who knows? I would definitely suggest you get hold of that. And again, a perfect gift for a jewellery designer. So if you're watching this morning trying to get some ideas, thinking, you know, I've, I don't know what gemstones they love. I don't know what discipline they need. Every jewellery maker needs chain. Fantastic gift to buy somebody. So it's quite generic. Thirty-nine We're going to move on um, because it looks like that could be another sellout deal. And uh, oh, here we go. This is a, a great combination um, because, again, you can be uh, pretty confident that if you're designing jewellery with cultured pearls, you're instantly going to be creating something very luxurious. Pearls just have that association with them, don't they? Of a luxury jewellery design. If you do your own research and you have a look at the boutique windows, for example, you can be expected to pay at least three figure sums for cultured pearl jewellery design. And it's very, very rare that you're going to see perfect rounds in pearls, even in the boutique windows. Here, I mean, for me, it's all about the finish on these pearls. Because we've got the rice pearls here, so they've got that elongation to them, which again, I think does add elegance to your designs. But often with the rice pearls, you'll see, you know, the slight inclusions on the surface, the little silks, but not yeah. on these. You've got this beautiful finish, haven't you? Had some fantastic pearls, haven't we? Absolutely. I mean, we talk about this quite a lot and regular viewers will be aware that it is becoming more difficult to actually produce pearls. Um, we've actually seen a huge decrease in the production of pearls over the last six months or so. But I have to say here at Jewelry Maker, the prices don't seem to have been affected too dramatically. Um, although, you know, we are expecting it to take effect pretty soon. I mean, in 2015, I, I would expect to see a rise in the price. Because it is just becoming so much more difficult to actually produce them. And, and we've been working with the same pearl suppliers for over a decade. So, you know, they wouldn't, they wouldn't tell us this information if they didn't feel that it was going to affect the prices they had to charge us. Um, so I, I do think the prices will start to creep up in 2015. Not through choice, but just because that's the, the sort of commercial realities yeah. of producing the pearls these days. But right now, we are managing to honour the prices that we've always managed to give you here at Jewelry Maker. Okay, and here you've got, for me, kind of uh, bridal colour tones in your pearls here because you've got the classic white pearls and you've got the very feminine peach tones here. And the beauty of the peach pearls is that the pearl essence gives you an almost champagne like hue as well. Mm -hmm. I love these pearls. It's my birthstone, actually, it's uh, the birthstone for June. If that's of interest to you. Although I do think that pearls are more s sort of strongly associated with bridal jewellery, aren't they? They are really, yeah. But yes, I mean, birthstone jewellery is lovely. And Absolutely. Can't go wrong with no. birthstone jewellery. But uh, yeah, lots of people, I suppose, do 
get involved with, with bridal commissions. That's how they start to sell their designs. And we've combined it here with your silver coated pyrite. Now these are very dramatic because not only do you get that sort of metallic shimmer that you'd associate traditionally with pyrite, but we've, we've created a slight variation here. Traditionally, you're gonna find pyrite coming in the antique gold color tones. We've given it this silver coating just to give it a, a different dimension. These are 10 mil perfect rounds of pyrite, so fantastic. I don't think I've ever seen these before. Actually, those would be great for uh, masculine jewelry designs as well as feminine designs. It would they? actually, yeah. Fantastic. Uh, you've actually got over 450 carats on that strand alone. And if you were to buy all three strands individually, you can see the price point on screen right now, over 20 pounds. But Scott just said in my ear, I really like this bundle, so we're gonna go very low on this. There you go, that's what you wanna hear from the sales manager this morning. 12.95. That's a hefty saving. Well over five pounds worth of savings here on, again, what could be considered an essential for a lot of jewelry makers, particularly people involved in bridal jewelry. You're gonna need these pearls. I mean, you don't have to use all these uh, uh, sort of together. I think one of the beauty of investing in our bundles is that we've created a wholesale opportunity for you so you're not you know restricted in any way that's not our intention here at jewelry maker we want to give you opportunities that open up your creative scope and i think when we combine the strands it does allow you to do that three strands for 12.95 when you're talking about two strands of cultured pearls and actually a variety of pyrite that i don't think i've seen before these 10 mil silver coated rounds Actually, there you go, it's a brand new strand, so that's why I haven't seen it before. A premier launch, but at a wholesale price. Something doesn't add up this morning, 12.95. Lots and lots of people getting involved. Actually, I suppose you could consider that and add it to your order price, because when you think about the profitability of cultured pearls, you're onto a real winner here, aren't you, 12.95? Or to be honest, I Even mean, without you, the pie, right? Yeah, <laughs> I mean, when, when you think of the valuations that people have been getting, and if you're selling your jewellery, you can command a far better price for them because, you know, they are natural. They're not, um, you know, sort of a, a plastic or a glass. They are Absolutely. natural, real, real fresh water. Uh, They're probably one pearls. of the most imitated yeah. minerals on the market, aren't they? Yeah. Cultured pearls, people... But you can tell instantly if somebody's got a bit of co coated plastic or whether you they've can. got the real deal. Yeah, I mean, the, the, the luster on them just speaks for themselves, but they're mm. classic, aren't they? Timeless and Absolutely. ageless. That's probably the best way to describe pearls, isn't it? Sort of yeah. timeless elegance, really. Absolutely. And you can do so many different designs with them. I mean, classic pearl earrings, that's traditionally everybody's everyday. Yeah. piece of jewellery isn't it they it wear is. it to the office and even. you dress them up you dress them down according to what you're wearing don't you so absolutely I suppose um, like I say you know when you walk into the office here at jewellery maker yeah. everybody's got their pearl earrings yeah. in but then again when you go to a special event everybody's getting their pearls out so yes. they really do cover all the bases don't they, they? do absolutely fantastic oh I've just moved the um, the pirate to one side for a second because I just want to have a look at this combination it is a pretty traditional combination I suppose but look at that. Can you imagine the kind of valuation you're going to receive? Faceted oh, rubies and classic ivory white pearls. Wasn't it Sammy who did um, a pearl bracelet and she'd put some of the, I, I can't remember what, what the gemstones were, but I'm not sure if it wasn't rubies that she put with them and had an amazing valuation on them. Um, well, I know for a fact that some of our customers have been receiving three figure valuations yeah. working with our pearls um, we we're talking about this on Friday morning show actually uh, somebody combined chrome dioxide with our white pearls and they got a valuation I think it was around 400 pounds Wow I mean this is another happy accident <laughs> but look at the Songhia sapphire those almost padaparacha like colors with the peach pearls I mean that is Stunning. A match made in heaven. It is absolutely stunning, isn't it? Oh, I really want to see a design with that now. Yeah, me. 
<laughs> Hopefully I've inspired somebody and we'll see it on the wall of fame. Um, so the Ruby is going to be coming up for us in around about 45 minutes time. Around about 11 a.m. we'll be able to bring you the Ruby. It is a little bit limited in availability as you'd expect with one of the most sought after gemstones on the planet. And for me, we're looking at, at jewellery quality gemstones here. I know that that kind of uh, isn't a preferred phrase for a lot of jewellery designers because you're thinking, well, I make beautiful jewellery with agate and jasper, but there is a difference between faceted yes. gemstones of that quality and, you know, um, the more denser, opaque gemstones. I mean, those are the big four, you know, sapphire, rubies, emerald and diamonds. Uh, this particular bundle coming through at 12.95 right now. Get on the phone lines as quickly as possible. And if you've got it in your basket, as always, check out to avoid disappointment. We're gonna move on. A lot to get through. Yes. There are some 925 sterling silver butterfly posts and backs. Is that what we're looking? Oh, with a little bit of a difference, okay. Anybody that got hold of the star chain on Friday morning, it was a late addition to the show, and it flew out the door in minutes. We had uh, hundreds of these chains literally flying out the door. It sold out while we were live, I believe, that star-shaped chain. <sighs> I've got the star stud earring, posts and backs. Wow. If you are thinking, hold on a second, that's getting a little bit lost against my shirt, isn't it? There you go. <laughs> no, no, I injured myself recently, oh, Fiona, so I've got horrible hands as well. <laughs> Look at that. Now, can you see the little loop there as well? Just about against the tweezers. So you can easily attach a gemstone. I'm thinking, and I've actually had a few requests mm -hmm. this week on Facebook saying, can we get hold of sterling silver? Because more often than not, when we are dealing with very prestigious gemstones, like, well, we've brought you in the last few days, chrome diopside on Friday, tanzanite yesterday morning, um, and now we've got rubies and sapphires this morning. So that's four of the big five across the weekend. And the presenters, because we, most of us come from a traditional jewellery background, because we all started our careers on the sister channel, Gems TV, we're often saying, please don't set your tanzanite, your chrome diopside, your rubies, your sapphires into base metals. They deserve to be set into at least sterling silver. And then of course people saying, well, where's the sterling silver, Ed? Which is fair enough. Well, I've got it for you right now. I've got three pairs of these beautiful earrings and I have to say, anything that offers you a little bit of detailing is also gonna add value to your designs. And the star shape, iconic within jewelry design, isn't it? It is, absolutely. What I was going to say with those earrings as well, if you're somebody like me, I love making really um, extravagant earrings. Yes. Um, but I actually can't wear them. I like to wear quite a short, um, t a if short you're going drop. to wear a drop, a very short yeah. drop. So a stud just works perfectly, but then to have that star straight into it and then a gemstone. Yes. You've really got something special to wear, haven't you? Absolutely. You've got the detail in your earlobe, and then you've got a little bit of yeah. movement from what well, depends how large you want to make it. This of course, if you've just got hold in your chain, you can make some quite elaborate, maybe even shoulder the stuff. Yes, you could. Um, okay. But it oh. gives you lots of options there, doesn't it? Sorry, Fee. Do you know what? It's only because sales manager Scott said, I've got to bring the price in, half the stock's already been allocated. So I was getting a bit worried there. We've only been mm. on screen for about 60 seconds and already half the stock's been allocated. I, I'm not really surprised. We're talking about £3.30, £3.31 per pair. You get three pairs of these. These are sterling silver. Hold on a second. Hold on a second gonna go and just make sure Scott's all right. Isn't <laughs> You're right, buddy. Are you okay, mate? Should we have a little cuddle? <laughs> Come on, mate. Come on. You're all right. <sighs> My word. <laughs> I tell you what. Just gotta make sure he's okay. He's a good friend of mine. He went to the Christmas do last night. 
I don't think you'll be invited to the Christmas do next year, Scott, if this is your behaviour the following morning. <laughs> In fact, based on these kind of prices, do they do, they do a Christmas do at the job centre? <laughs> I'm only joking. He's the boss, he's in charge, and he wants to make these items as accessible as possible. 925 sterling silver for 995. I mean, to be honest, when people see the 925 on your stall at, at your craft stores, they're expecting to pay a premium price yeah. for it, aren't they? Well, of course you are, um, and it, it just makes it more attractive. And if people are buying them for a gift, as well yeah. straight away you know that people are not going to have a problem with wearing them there's not going to be any allergies or anything like that ah, very true yes so, uh, and that's some that is important consideration if it's going to be a gift yeah that, that is a massive consideration isn't it because uh, you know, some people do have sort of allergic reactions to some of the base metals yeah. so it's difficult for them to wear them certainly as earrings uh, but sterling silver here for 9.95 i'm shot dead the quantity bar's having a little bit of trouble catching up with us this morning just because <laughs> we're so busy <laughs> in fact scott said uh, the graphics are just having a lot of problems in general so there you go. say again sorry yeah i think the the graphics uh we're out of the Christmas do last night by the looks of it. <laughs> <laughs> so um, in actual fact, I think we only have double figures of availability remaining in stock and uh, there's probably another sort of 30 of these placed in people's baskets. So there could be far fewer than is being displayed on screen. So please forgive me for that. Um, but get involved as quickly as possible. And uh, some people are interacting with us this morning. So Jane in Lancashire's text through to say, Ed, two of my commissions have had uh, good valuation, six millimetre pearls and garnet rondelles, 140 pounds, wow, wow. Uh, and nine and ten millimetre pearls with spinel and moonstone, what a fantastic combination, <gasps> 450 pounds, both with 925 wow. findings. Start dialing the free phone number right <laughs> now, if you've just, I just, I think I can see you there, Julie. In Essex, I can see those pound signs in your eyes. <laughs> Cha-ching! <laughs> 95 cents silver, 9.95. Of course, nobody needs to know you're paying wholesale prices. You have to price your jewellery appropriately if you're selling your designs. There you go. Why not take it for independent valuation? Particularly if you are working with the likes of cultured pearls, sapphire, rubies. We've got two of the big four, big five. The reason I say that, if you're watching this one, saying, "Why does he keep saying that?" Traditionally, we know it as the big four. Emeralds, diamonds, sapphires, and rubies. Although these days, there are some people who do refer to it as a big five because we think of tanzanite as having infiltrated that big four. So now sometimes it's referred to as a big five. So that's why I make the reference, uh, big four or big five. Um, two of those coming up for us later in the show, rubies and songia sapphire. This is actually one of my favorite color tones of sapphire. I know that a lot of people um, traditionally think of uh, sapphire as a blue tone, but actually one of the rarest and certainly the, uh, the variety that demands the highest price point on the market is Panparaccia sapphires. These don't actually come from that region, but they're almost identical to the color tones you'll find in that variety of sapphires. So those are coming up later in the show. Ruby's coming up probably around about 11 a.m. Um, as I say, uh, you can ignore the quantity bar on screen there because there's only double figures remaining in our star-shaped 925 sterling silver studs. But there is still a um, quantity available, so please get involved as quickly as you can. And uh, it's now time, Fiona, for the exclusive launch of Fiona's DVD. Uh, I'm gonna bring this piece of jewelry with me. I'm gonna move over and have a look at some of Fiona's designs, she's just getting set Sorry. up there. No, not Is at all, we don't need to apologise. <laughs> We've sprung this one on you. We're getting all excited, aren't we? Oh, these are just, they're just gorgeous. This is really, for me, this kind of encapsulates what jewellery making is all about. Yeah. The chance to create something very, very individual and something with a little more sentimentality than you're going to find maybe from sort of high street jewellery design Absolutely. where everybody has the same look yeah this is genuinely one of a kind and something that will mean so much it's just completely it's com yeah, completely unique and t to that person very personal 
absolutely. Um, and this, as I say, this, as I said earlier, this is a couple that um, really good friends of ours and my mm -hmm. sons. Right. Um, and they very kindly let me use their photographs, and I had a lot to sort through, and I wanted, I knew, I wanted to tell a story. Yeah. Um, and that's what we've managed to do. Absolutely. I mean, this piece here. I mean, that is sort of an iconic image, isn't yeah. it? The first kiss <laughs> kind of thing yeah, as, a, as newlyweds. There you go. That's gorgeous, isn't it? Oh, you. <laughs> your son manages. Your son hangs around with models, does he? There you go. <laughs> that's not my son. That's his friend. <laughs> that's what I mean. His friends oh, yeah. are models. Yeah. yeah. Pretty much so. Yeah. She's gorgeous. Absolutely. There you go. Um, <laughs> oh, I love these cufflinks. I mean, those would be so special, wouldn't they? Can you imagine? Well, it's not. It's nice for the guy to have some jewellery. Absolutely. Um, and again, to, that's special to his wedding day. So we've got a before when he's sort of standing out there having a drink with his mates, and then the after. Where he's celebrating with his so wife. This is a freedom. <laughs> and, uh, no, I'm joking. I'm oh, absolutely. Yeah. I'm joking. Of course, <laughs> the big day. I'm only kidding around with you. Um, and have a look at this. This is quite interesting as well because it's just like uh, is that where the it is. Betty's I mean, about to be thrown. It's <laughs> you know they're sort of just looking out. And to me, as soon as I saw that, that's that's them looking to their future. Into their future. And you've actually sort of put, put a little sentimental there. Yeah. And we've got some sort of. Oh, future. I was in the there. time the yet to come. Yeah. Oh, that's beautiful, <laughs> isn't it? And this is this is the kind of show the yeah. showcase piece. This is, it tells is. the whole story of the Yeah, dinner. this one starts. I mean, do, do you want me to sort of take you through the Absolutely. story? Absolutely. Yes, why not? So, well, yeah, that'd um, be easier. With this could. one, we actually start here. And this is um, a photograph that was taken in the morning of the uh, of the wedding day at the uh, bride's house. So we've got her dress, we've got a shoe. And we've got her bouquet. Nice. Okay. So let's and then just we move round, ready. and there she is arriving oh, at the church given away. with her dad. And then we go to the order of service. Nice. And a little envelope charm there. Ah, so all the charms yeah. relate to, to the story as well. That's so. Clever. And then we move on again, and that's it. They're, they've just signed the register. Um, the, yeah, they register the certificate, so that's all signed. There you go. And then we move on to the final one, which is then celebrating with all the confetti being thrown. Ah, oh, that is fantastic. So isn't it? that's the sort of story of their wedding day. And then if we move back, I've interspersed that with little pearls because that's the pearls of wisdom. Of course, yeah, and of course, pearls have that. Uh, so we're saying with weddings as absolutely. well. Absolutely. Like so we've said. got the wedding jewellery, and they, you know, obviously, say really classic, and then some little charms as well to also include in the narrative. Right. And the charms, if it's going to be a narrative, they do need to mean something. So absolutely, yeah, no, so that's totally what that agree. Is. Um, we do. We have mentioned this previously, <laughs> but in case you know you aren't aware of this, and I was, it's only obvious if you know. Um, the reason pearls do have that traditional association with weddings is because folklore suggests that. They will help uh, to stop you from crying on the day if you yeah. wear them. Um, it doesn't work. <laughs> <laughs> because all of uh, the people at my sister's wedding were wearing pearls and they're all bawling their eyes out. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, you know, it might work for you, who knows. Um, so this is Capturing Memories in Resin. And of course, as always, sort of a step by step process of how to break it all down and yeah. 4 95 I always think the DVD prices here at Jamaica are ridiculous and um, I suppose maybe some people are a little bit, you know, um, almost standoffish about some of these techniques but resin yeah. is very, very easy to work with, it's, isn't it? It is so easy to work with and once you sort of just, you've just got to get started, once you get started you become very, very easily hooked. Yes. Um, I know people that have been on the workshops with me. Um, on the very first one, there was a couple of ladies there that had never done resin before right. at all. Um, and we're in touch all the time because they are making so much resin jewellery because they are completely yeah. hooked. The only so. difficult part of resin, and it's not difficult actually, the only um, sort of intricate part is weighing out the resin itself. It Once is. you've done that, the world's your oyster. It, you can do is. anything you like with it. Absolutely. You just need to ensure that you master the weighing. Yes. the mixing correctly it's and really you know do. just be accurate with them and if you're accurate with them and you keep them in you know secure it well you, you it's going to last forever absolutely and that is another great thing about resin of course because the way it sets you know it is set forever you can ha yeah. own that piece of jewelry forever and these are so personal as well aren't they yes they are absolutely 
Absolutely fantastic. So, I love this little story that's being told in the charm bracelet. And, and on the DVD, you're taken through, because they're obviously multi-layered techniques. So one of them, one of the techniques is setting you, uh, is setting it into bezel, and the other one is setting it um, into sort of um, resin tiles. So um, there you can see the, the kind of um, the process yes. in order there. So uh, even if you're a beginner to this, it will take you through the process. It will, absolutely. You can be any level to have a go at this straight away. So, I know, Definitely. Four ninety five. It's another stocking filler prize, really, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, Absolutely. you've actually find it hard pushed to buy a crafting magazine for four ninety five these days. The you, are, I mean, that these DVDs, they are such good value, and it's just Believe nice. What? I know when I've lear been learning new techniques, I have them, and you sort of get so far through, and you can stop it, and you can catch up, go on to the next bit. I always watch the DVD all the way through first, and yeah, then and I get then started, start, and, right. and as I say, stop it and start it as you're going along. That's a great way to do it, and of course, it is literally like having the expert in your living room. Yeah. Only you can pause them. You can, <laughs> and you can turn the sound off if you want to. <laughs> I don't present this no. one, so you know, that won't happen. <laughs> it's only me talking. That's amazing. Four ninety-five. Um, another good consideration, of course. There might be uh, sort of groups of jewelry makers out there. Maybe you have um, regular jewelry making parties, and maybe you have a secret Santa event. Yeah. Great way to it sort is, of stay yeah. under that five pound price point, it isn't is, it? It is, and just get just get started. Mm, yes, get that, started. that's the great thing. If you take the plunge and you buy the DVD, then you can get a grounding in the actual process, in the discipline, yeah. and then you can take the next step, which is to obviously get hold of your resin and, and have Absolutely. a go. Absolutely, and you know, once you do get started. Um, I know when I first got started, I was ne I was nervous to begin with. But as soon as I was going, it, it was like, there's hardly a day passes now when I'm not doing resin in one way or another. So, yeah, I'm, a, I'm a, an absolute resin addict. I just love working with it. It is fantastic. Lots and lots of people getting involved with this. And as always, people placing it in their basket. Don't forget to check out, of course, 4 95 for that particular deal. Thank you so much, Sharon. Thank I'm you. so privileged to be doing the launch of this with you. you. Um, there you go. So this has been a long time in the making, but now it is available for you. And as we said, you know, bridal jewellery is a real big business, really, for uh, bespoke jewellery design. And this is kind of an extension of that, isn't it? It is, absolutely. Absolutely fantastic. So there you go. You can add that to your order for just four ninety five. Thank you, Fiona. Your jewellery is so beautiful. Thank you. Uh, we're going to move on, and we're going to give you more incredible opportunities this morning to add to that order of yours. And uh, we've just been talking a lot about the inclusion of pearls within your designs. Maybe you're planning to put together some. Um, I suppose memory jewellery, is that, would you like to call it that? Is that yeah. a good way of Jewelry. Describing? So yeah, so um, sentimental memory jewellery, maybe you're putting together um, a kind of wedding narrative. You know, if you've been inspired by Fiona's design there, you need to get your pearls, don't you, to get <laughs> onto that charm bracelet. Well, we have got three fantastic varieties here. We've got the peach pearls. These are very delicate size. They're five by four millimetres. Then you've got your silver pearls, Slightly larger, six by five millimetre, but fantastic elongation to those pearls as well. And then these gorgeous peacock pearls. I mean, these are fantastic. Almost reminiscent of uh, Tahitian pearls for my money. That's just my eye, of course. Because you get this kind of gunmetal tone on the base of it, but then you get this swirl of purples and greens in the pearlescence, and that's what gives you that peacock effect. Those are uh, ranging in size, so slightly more varied sizes there. Four by three ranging to six by four, that's what you want with your organic minerals like pearls, because it shows your customers that they are the real deal, and that you're not working with faux pearls. Three strands of pearls here, and of course, we're gonna give you a jewelry maker Sunday morning price point this morning. So um, as we say, Pearl's pretty much an essential for all jewellery makers. We've already given you some incredible deals on Pearl's this morning and we're not going to stop there. So if you were to buy all three strands individually, there'd be 11 .85. That's already, on average, less than £4 per strand. But we're not staying there. We're going to take them under £3 per strand for genuine cultured Pearl's. Eight ninety-five. I'm getting worried about this boy this morning. 
<laughs> the deals that we are bringing you are phenomenal. Eight ninety-five for gorgeous cultured pearls. It's a pearl trio here, and uh, I have to say. These are three very, very effective color tones within jewelry design as well, aren't they? The peacock pearls, they're gonna add that kind of drama, that depth, if you like. Yeah. Definitely. Then you've got the peach tones, which are gonna add femininity and luxury. And then you've got the silver pearls, which are very in keeping with lots of different designs, whether it's seasonal jewelry, or of course, whether it's just to match up with the metallic tones that you're working with. So, you can't go wrong with these. You can't. Fantastic trio. and. Uh, there were already people flying in online when it was at 11.85, but now that we've taken it down to less than three pounds per strand, there's actually a bit of a queue forming on the free phone number as well. As you can well imagine here at Jewelry Maker, we've also got people multi-buying this particular deal. Pearls are an essential. I know that actually there's um, some jewelry designers out there who, well, certainly one that I speak to on Facebook, who actually owns her own bridal shop. So she sells wedding dresses and, and hires bridesmaids dresses and what have you. And what she does is she actually uh, multi-buys a lot of the pearls and she creates pearl jewelry that she actually gives to the bridesmaids and the bride as kind of like a, a, a pre-wedding favor, shall we say. And that's a great way, you know, to just enhance the experience because, you know, when you're buying wedding dresses and hiring uh, bridesmaids dresses, this is a very, very expensive process putting together your wedding. Lots of people are going to be well aware of that. It's almost like everybody's just added a naught to the end of everything that you want to invest in. Um, and when you actually receive something free of charge when you are making these very expensive purchases, it just puts your, your mind at ease, it almost, you know, makes you feel more comfortable parting with your, with your cash. And of course, word of mouth will spread. Anytime you give something away gratis, it puts a smile on people's face, doesn't it? And of course, pearls are luxury. That's, they just encapsulate the whole idea of luxury jewellery, don't they? Beautiful pearls. Okay, this is already approaching limited availability. We're very, very busy this morning, so if you see something you like the look of, start dialing that free phone number. We've got rubies, sapphires yet to come. We've got more launches of the wire ribbon, that wire looks fantastic option. In fact, why don't we bring you some more of the wire looks right now? So we're going to move on from the pearls. Um, if you are in a short queue, don't panic, just stay where you are. Actually, a lot of the phone buyers are multi buyers so congratulations. Uh, we're going to move on and we're now going to, oh, I love this one. I'm going to get it out again. Is that all right? Yeah. This one is going to, again, be very, very popular because actually, do you know what? Now that I see this colour, this would be perfect for vintage style jewellery. Don't you think? Sable wire ribbon. It's kind of like a, a, a chocolate brown or, or a bronze colour tone. Maybe a kind of antique kind of colour, antique bronze kind of colour tone. Show the kind of jewellery you can create with this. Now we've got different variations, of course you could achieve any of the looks working with this, but this is uh, the colour tone. Naturally, funnily enough, there you go, this has been put together by um, Sue. Sue's put this together for us, that's one of our resident jewellery makers, and um, she's actually put it onto the antique bronze chain, so there you go. I wasn't wrong, <laughs> for once. Uh, you've got 24 inches on your actual um, wire ribbon or wire looks. As we stated earlier in the show, you might have missed the opportunity to uh, get hold of the rose ribbon. We do still have some available in stock, and uh, that came in at 14.95. Um, traditionally, this has only been available in the States up until now. So we haven't been able to get hold of it from a UK supplier. And as a result, the price points haven't really been in keeping with what we wanted to offer you. We were looking at, um, a couple of years ago, we looked into bringing this and it was available for $48 in the States. The, uh, the only price point that we can find in the UK from a larger suppliers, I know there'll be some independent suppliers out there who have it, and obviously we don't know about them, um, but we can only find it about 27 pounds is, is the lowest price point we found. We we're able to launch it this morning at a jewelry maker price point. This is an exclusive launch to us, and it's just 
That's what we do here at Jewelry Maker. We try to find these innovative products and we try to give you the most competitive prices on the market. $14.95 and this is going to be very, very popular, this colour tone, because as I say, there are a lot of people who, again, do tend to focus on one particular genre of jewellery design. Some people will favour bridal designs, as we've just stated. Some people are going to go down the vintage route. And I think this, for me, has those kind of connotations. I mean, it'll still work in very contemporary design as well. Actually, this is kind of um, a kind of contemporary design, but with a vintage twist. That's how I would describe this, what we're looking at, actually. Gorgeous. It really makes the gemstones pop, doesn't it? It does, absolutely. So it's not, um, it's adding texture to the design, but it's not stealing the show, if you like. No. So that's, that's what you want from a finding or a mechanic, isn't it? It's providing a stunning backdrop, isn't it? Yes, that's a great way of <laughs> There you go, far more articulate than I could ever be. <laughs> this is uh, the lovely Fiona's with this morning, of course. If you want to hear more from Fiona, Four ninety five for her DVD. <laughs> you can add that to your order right now. Make the most of your one PMP per day. This is, of course, the final weekend in which we can guarantee delivery before Christmas. So if you do want to take advantage of that, please get on the phone lines as quickly as possible. This one is absolutely flying out the door. We do have pretty uh, healthy stock levels of these items. And uh, at $14.95, this is flying. So congratulations to all the multi-buyers. Margaret's got two. Angela's got two. Um, buyers taking threes and fours as well. Um, I'll leave that one with you because uh, so many people are coming through, I can't keep up with the names on, on the screen. We are going to move on uh, because we're going to bring you our second kit of the day. Uh, of course, as I say, this is a great way to uh, replenish all of your stocks at once if you're an experienced jewelry maker or maybe you're thinking about getting started with the hobby. And this isn't uncommon, in fact, um, had somebody contact me yesterday evening to ask me a similar question, just to say they've been watching the show for a few weeks, they were thinking about getting involved with the hobby and they had a question about um, the cords that you needed to use for macrame. In fact, they started their um, question with, this might seem like a stupid question, and I did reply saying, there's no stupid questions. No. It's only obvious if you know. That's the beauty of having our experts on the show. They will uh, answer any question. In fact, if you've got any questions for Fiona, Text in. The number you need uh, is 60777, but start your text with the phrase Gem Studio. There's the information for you. And if you are shopping online, then uh, very simple to uh, simply type your message. It will come through to our producer screen, and we'll put it directly to Fiona live on the show. And I'm sure she'll be able to answer it because she's so talented. Um, <laughs> wow is all I can say about this collection of items. We haven't seen this gemstone for some time, and... Uh, kind of came in last week and it was on the show on Friday morning as part of a bundle when Mark Smith was in the room preparing his design inspiration show he was getting very excited about these ocean jasper nuggets of course Mark uh, is our sort of chips and nuggets expert and so he's getting very excited about this and the beautiful thing about these color tones is they're very earthy colors so they're quite naturalistic because you've got these kind of earthy browns and golden tones, you've got the forest greens and greys in there. And then you've got the organic finish mirrored in the nugget tones there. Now, this is beautiful. Because we've been talking about combining traditional gemstone colours with classic pearls. This seems to be becoming a bit of a theme, actually, of the morning. Um, and we've done it just here now in beautiful polished peridot rounds combined with your elongated pearls but not once twice have a look at this love it so are these um three or four millimeter rounds in your peridot graphics for having seen your moment this morning so uh, I'm just getting hold of the uh, the details there you go so you've got four mil rounds of peridot I mean how often do you see perfect rounds of peridot traditionally you know you're gonna find uh, faceted peridot here on the show but to find the perfect rounds a little bit few and far between so it's a great opportunity and then we've got the uh, sort of four by five millimeter pearls. So slight elongation, but very similar size to the peridot. And then 
We've mirrored that in the larger sizes. So you've then got the six mil peridot rounds and the seven by six mil pearls. And then you've got a double strand of your Ocean Jasper Nuggets, giving you over 250 carats. So there's a lot of gemstones going on here. And that, again, is a fantastic combination, isn't it? The vibrancy of the kind of lemon and lime hues that you get from your peridot combined with that classic, elegant backdrop of your ivory white pearls there. And then I love the injection of the more organic color tones and textures of the tumbled Jasper Nuggets there. Those range in size from five by three mil to 13 by eight millimeters in size. A 36 inch strand, that is a hefty number of gemstones on there. So uh, a five strand kit traditionally, although that's more like a double strand, so it's almost like getting six strands of gemstones, isn't it? Amazing value for money this morning. And uh, this kit is a bit of a wire. Okay, so actually this is one for all of the wire workers and of course it is our most popular discipline uh, not just because we've got more designers and dvds and workshops dedicated to this discipline but also recently on the hub it was voted as our favorite discipline here at jewelry maker so we've actually got all of your bases covered here because we've got your 0.4 mil your 0.8 mil and your one mil gauges of antique bronze wire i tell you what That's what you want to add to this order, isn't it? I mean, that is perfect. It actually goes with the gemstones beautifully as well, because often, you know, the chocolate browns and the peridot greens are going to work perfectly. And then, of course, with the antique bronze, as we've seen, it works beautifully. Um, if you are interested in, uh, in wire, we also have uh, Laura Binding coming up on the Late Show this evening. So even more inspiration later on tonight, if you get a hold of this. Uh, we are going to go over and have a look at what Fiona's created with this particular kit as well. Um, now, if you were to buy all these individually, £40.10, well, from Jewelry Maker. I think you probably, you could pay that for one strand of pearls from other suppliers, but two strands of pearls, two strands of peridot, ocean jasper, and the three most popular gauges of wire, 0 0.4, 0 0.8, and one mil gauges of wire, should be over 40 pounds, 21.95. We've just seen the kind of valuations people have been receiving working with our cultured pearls, setting them into jewelry, haven't we? It was 140 for one, 450 for another. What was the combination again? Pearls, spinel, and moonstone? 450 pounds, amazing valuation. 21.95, lots of wire workers getting involved with this particular deal. And uh, you know, this is maybe a little expansion of uh, the traditional kits because you know, we're we're assuming that you have got findings, or of course, you can make your own because you've got 0 0.8 mil yeah. wire. And you and love wire mil. work, don't you? I do? love wire work, yeah. I just love it. And I, I like all kinds of wire work. I like sort of the very neat, you know, very intricate wire waving, but then I also like the looseness and, and the free form well, wire, this is which the is what I've done. Thing, isn't it? You know, I've got two different styles there. Absolutely. This is the interesting because whenever we speak to wire workers, you get. You tend to get people that are either in one camp or the other. Yeah. Like, for example, as I say, Laura is coming up this evening and she's very uh, free flowing when it yeah. comes to wire. But then you get other designers who are very methodical in their approach yeah. to wire work. And, uh, but you say, you, you, I like, you come I like, I, I like them both because I, I don't like to be bound by what I can and can't do. So, mm. to me, and I don't mind mixing it either. So, I, I might have, as I've got with the Peridot necklace, you've yes. got some very neat. I love that work. design, by the way. Thank that you. Is a, that, for me, is a statement piece. That's the kind of boutique design. It is. A, it is more of a statement, isn't it? But Absolutely again, you've got you've got the very neat with the um, with the well, the diamonds or the squares. Um, but then you've also got the free flowing as well. It's that is just exquisite, and it really highlights how effective that combination between the pearls and the peridot is as well. Yeah, absolutely. Because again. To, just to steal your phrase, <laughs> the pearls are kind of providing a backdrop for the vibrancy of the peridot, aren't Absolutely. they? Absolutely. Absolutely gorgeous. But then, this is really highlighting <laughs> how profitable your pearls can be. Keep it simple, keep it elegant. I mean, those for a bride would be perfect. But, you know, those pearls are exquisite. Mm, the finish. Um, they are gorgeous. absolutely, and they're, they're so well matched in size and shape. They are absolutely yes. beautiful. And what I've done with them is actually what I would do with them if 
I'd got them to work with for a piece for myself or for sale. I yeah. would keep them very simple. Now, obviously, I might not every tree one, every one, or every two or three. Yeah. Um, I might add a drop or something, but quite often I just do a very simple piece with pearls, and those pearls speak for themselves. Well, um, you know, speaking to Jan recently, and of course, off the back of working with our pearls, she's yeah. now been commissioned to create pearl jewellery for a, jeweler. uh, a jeweller's. So that just goes to show the quality yeah. of working with. This looks like it's going to be a sellout deal. Look how quickly that's found. We've got just 24 just remaining in stock. And as I say, we are very busy. So this is maybe more of the uh, the free flowing that's wire complete, design. Completely, everything's just wrap, wrapped around. But you know, it's rustic winter. It's walked through the forest again. And absolutely. And the colour tones of the jasper yeah, mirror. The absolutely. Effect it's just very natural, very organic. Um, and I've, I've done sort of twisted wire. Then I've wrapped the um, n the nuggets around it, and then I've wrapped more wire around it. And something interesting here, I would say, is the finish because yeah. the wire has sort of uh, created it's the fastening as well. Yes, it so has. It so it's, it just adds a little bit more. And then, of course, if you took that to sort of sell, you could have the piece made up, but with different sizes ah, of the of central course. piece here. So you can make it as long or short as you wanted yeah, to. Yeah, depending on the kind of neckline or yeah. the look people are going for. You could even have a choker style, I yes, suppose. Yes, you could, yeah. That is, actually, do you know what? This is like uh, the two ends of the spectrum it of is. jewelry design, isn't it? <laughs> Absolutely. So free flowing, bespoke jewelry with the wire work <laughs> here and then classic luxury from yeah. your pearls. Absolutely. Absolutely fantastic. Uh, okay, we've got people multi-buying this kit. I'm not surprised, really. Even even <laughs> Scott is saying, I think I might have gone a bit low on that one. Uh, <laughs> it's, it's a lot lower than I thought it was going to be. Absolutely. So it should be over £40 this morning, £21.95. Um, we better have a, a demonstration before it sells out, uh, Fiona. Well, what I thought I'd just take you through is making one of those squares, or mm, at least to yes. get, to get the, the shape that I've done. Now, I've got um, different lengths, so that, again, you've got to look at how much wire you use. I'm just going to take you through the basic one. So I've taken what we've we got about um, eight inches of eight inches of wire there. Okay. Nice and, and, and is it straight. Um, important that you have an exact amount? No, it isn't. No, okay. It isn't because you can neaten that afterwards. And once I've made the square, you'll see what I, what we can do with it. So I'm going to okay. get this as straight as I can. And I'm taking it roughly to the on on the screen. It's left of centre, isn't it? Left to centre. Anyway, it's here. It's not quite on the centre. And I'm just bending the, the wire down, but I'm be moving the wire against the plier rather than um, the other way around because I want a really crisp um, edge there. Then I'm going to move back in and I'm moving along about an inch or so. And I'm going to do the same thing again, turning it round. Is that it's as easy as you're making it's it look? Honestly, yeah. it's so, so easy. Okay. Again, I mean, do you want to have a go? <laughs> do you know what? I will have a go. Come on, do, I've got it in, into position to okay. where you might like it. And I just and the, you're going inwards. to get your thumb over the top there and, yep. just, and let your thumb push the wire around. Like that? Yeah, that's it, done. Okay. Was that there easy? You go. That, well, if I can do it. <laughs> that's easy, honestly. It was very, very easy. <laughs> I, you know, I asked the questions on behalf, you know, it could be viewers sitting home thinking, I could never do that. Trust me, if I can do it, you can do it. Uh, <laughs> I've got a handful of kitchen remaining, four of these remaining in stock. Well, Probably, if everybody was to close their baskets, it could that? be a sellout deal. Right. Oh, thank you. Yeah, do you know what? Wire is one that of the techniques that really intimidates me. No, don't be intimidated. Do not be intimidated by it. Just. I suppose the more you play. experiment, the more you yeah, play, the is. more confident you're going to get. Now, if I just show you there, I, what I've actually come up with is actually more of a rectangle than a square. So what I did on mine, I've got the mini anvil. Ah, um, yes. And what I did, I used the width across the top of that so that I knew that I'd got an even yeah, measurement even all the way around. But we're going to just go with this for now. So once you've got those two meeting here... Was this my involvement that just No, it up? wasn't. Cause I, I, <laughs> it's mine, because I, I positioned it for you. What I'm doing there is just moving my pliers to the inside mm -hmm. of, of that last um, angle. And I'm moving the wire up, but I'm only going so far. Uh, kind of like 45 Casey. degrees. Yeah. yeah. And then I'm going to go the same on the next one and put, bring that one up. Okay. And then uh, I've actually taken that one just a little bit further than perhaps I should have done. Yeah. So that you've got that. 
nice angle up there. But the wire is so malleable, you can easily correct you that. You can, and, and the f these are now going to be bound together, but it's absolutely fine that you've got that bow there, because as you bind the wire, it is going to pull together. And then all I've done then is taken, uh, leave a little tail, and this is we're using the 0.4 wire, make a couple of wraps just around one of the sides, bring it up through the middle, and then the same again, and I'm going to carry on. I'm only going to do a couple of those just to show you, but basically you're going to just keep moving between the sides and doing three wraps on each side. Mm. As you've done the third, bring it back up the middle, down the next one, and three wraps on that one. And what I would do on this piece of wire now, I would go up to the top and trim that level, okay, and I would, I would actually do the weave up to about two centimetres shy of the end because these bits are the bits that you're then going to wire around um, the twisted necklace. Um, I'm going to tr trim that little bit of a tail off, okay, so that's done. And I'm then going to take another piece of 0.4 wire and I'm going to uh, use that one and we're going to actually bind on some peridots. Now you'll oh. see if I've already put some peridots on here. I'm only, I'm only going to do a few just so that you get the gist of it. The kit's been a sellout. That's fantastic. I'm really pleased. You, honestly, if anybody's disappointed, I'll eat my hat. No, you but won't not on air because you, you won't be. It is a stunning kit. Um, just because um, you don't actually receive any findings with this kit because it's a wire-based kit. Uh, we did do an early bird this morning and we took our uh, traditional silver-plated copper findings down from 995 down to 495 this morning. And so uh, that would be a fantastic addition to your order. It would. And in fact, I, I use silver findings on the pearl the pearls, piece. yes. Because I, I like silver with pearls. Oh, as I was saying yeah. earlier, you know, it's just elegant, isn't it? The, it is. The silver, yeah. So there you go. So there you go for four ninety five, and you'll get a meter length of chain. You'll get your toggle clasp, so you can absolutely, absolutely recreate that. And you know, not not to detract from how beautiful the design is, but it's a simple design. It is. You a, can it, I've, achieve I've, that. I've tried to do that. So you've got, you know, you've got several different ex, um, ex levels of experience here. So the first, mm. the, the pearl one is absolutely. You do not have to have any experience whatsoever. Yeah. That's your starting, mm -hmm. and then you could move on to a piece like that where you're, you know, you, you, you're starting to mess with your wire, wire yeah. free and then finally move on to the other piece. It's a kind of uniform design. Yes. Yeah. There you go. Okay, so continue with your demo. So, sorry, sorry, no, no, but you fine. know, kit sold out, so you did have to make everybody aware of that. So, I've, what I've done is I've already wrapped two on, so I wrapped mm -hmm. this third one, so I'm bringing the wire up, okay, and I'm wrapping it two or three times around each one. Okay. Okay, dropping it down, and then when you've got three on each side, and you, you really you need to just carry on around this. So right. I've got three on that side. I'm now going to just go loosely bring the wire down to that corner. Right. I cut, whoops. Sorry, I've got myself into a nice little knot there. Wrap that around the corner and then bring it back up. So you're going to turn the, the wire around, bring it back up, and whoops carry on and get three on that end and then what you what you need to just try very hard to do is leave a big enough gap in this edge here to be able to pop a pearl to get down pearls between down. Right, okay. um, and I've just used w w with this tail here if I just talk you through the next bit mm -hmm. yep. once you've wrapped up to the top here you then would come up between the wire pop up one of the barock pearls on and feed it up and down and then mm -hmm. when you get to the bottom here then you're going to paste four or five pearls on bring it to the end wrap it around twice and then put a drop on and that's it it's as simple as that absolutely fantastic really there simple. you go um, so if you do want to uh, get hold of that kit unfortunately you did have to be quick it has been a sellout deal but you can still add the findings to your collection a stocking filler price of just 4.95 and we're uh, now going to find out what you've been creating we're going back over to the wall of fame
Welcome back to the Wall of Fame. So another opportunity to have a look at what you've been creating. And uh, why don't we let Fiona go first oh, on this thank occasion? You. Look at this. I absolutely love this. Um, oh. Number 417. And if dream. I'm right, it looks like macrame. And now, you know, I'm having started it, I've got to get on and do some more. So, mm -hmm. hi, JM peeps. This is my entry to the Wall of Fame. My four-inch dragon's gone by dream catcher. All the materials except the hoop are from Jewellery Maker. I'm not sure what the gems are as they were from a gem scoop. scoop. I used one reel of satin cord for the web and I did macrame for the tail. Hope you like it. Good luck to all of the Wall of Entry uh, Fames. The Wall of Fame entries even, and that's from Corin Davey. That's absolutely lovely. It's gorgeous, yeah. I recognise that yeah. the green catcher. It's, in the, it's beautiful. Ah, now this is fantastic. These are very, very popular at craft fairs, aren't they? Yeah. Lovely. So easy to put together, but so beautiful because I just put a little twist on these beautiful memory wire rings. Uh, it says, Hi, please find attached my entry for this week's Wall of Fame. Memory wire rings that I've created for a craft fair tomorrow. There you go. It's the first fair I've done um, since I had an eye problem, and I am really hoping I can make it. Oh, there you go, Angela. Hopefully, you did make it along to your craft fair because I imagine those were flying off your store. I imagine. You're number 420. Uh, good luck for the draw. Okay, and I've now got number 419, and this is from Jane Milestone in Winsford, Cheshire. Hi, hope everyone is keeping well. It was lovely to see Lucy and Charlie Pants presenting with Carol on the morning show. Carol wanted to know where Deal was. It's in Kent, and I've been there on holiday many years ago. My waft for this week was inspired by the forthcoming festive celebrations. I wired opal faceted drops in between pearls and attached them to alternate white quartz round and garnet wheels. Finishing off with a silver fastener, all from Jam, of course. Merry Christmas to all and good luck from my fellow Waffers on Wednesday. Take care, and that's Jane. And uh, Merry Christmas to you, Jane. Oh, yeah. well, to all of our Waffers. One of my best friends <laughs> from Winsford in Cheshire, that's funny. Uh, yeah, all the time I went to university with. Um, I've got number 421. Go faith or fashion, we all normally think of this uh, kind of iconic image as, and it's uh, come through from Kathy in Leeds. It says, Good morning, jewelry maker, and all you wacky gals and guys. There you go. <laughs> I hope you're having a splendid day. We certainly are. Here is a piece I made called uh, Holy Trinity, made with all JM goodies except for the tiny crystals in the centre. I'd love to see it on the Wall of Fame. Well, there you go, Kathy. It's made it. <laughs> Ever so busy at the moment, beavering my way through the stash of JM goodies I've built up, especially the wire and uh, copper sheet and metal clay and, oh yes, gemstones. <laughs> um, Goodness knows how uh, I'm not about to run out of those, but I need more. Keeping my fingers crossed for a win. Your friendly JM junkie, Kathy in Leeds. <laughs> there you go. Fantastic, uh, beautiful design there. Lovely uh, wire work as well. So uh, good luck to in the draw, Kathy. And it never matters how many gemstones you've got because it's never enough. You've never got enough, <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> and I've got number 418, and this is from Susan Collins in Sherbourne, Dorset. Dear jewellery maker, this is my first entry for a while as I lost my mojo due to my husband being poorly. But I've managed to make two Christmas presents for friends, um, for their Christmas presents. All from JM, peach pearls, white shell pearls and amethyst bicones. Do hope all at JM have a wonderful Christmas and a healthy and happy new year from Susan Collins, Sherboyne. And same to you, and you've got your mojo back there. Absolutely, beautiful piece of jewellery there. Um, we are going to go to a quick break. Um, I thought you were going to say yeah, something there. Sorry, Ryan. Uh, I think we'll probably uh, let you how to uh, let you know how to enter the Wall of Fame throughout the show. So don't worry about that. If you're thinking how can I get involved, we will let you know. Uh, coming up straight after the break, the exclusive launch of faceted rubies. This is very, very exciting, particularly if you've got hold of any of the pearls this morning because they're mm -hmm. such a classic combination. Uh, limited edition launch, so do get involved as quickly as possible. We're very, very busy this morning and um, we are now going to go to a quick break. We'll be back in two minutes with more inspiration and more premier launches, so don't go away. My name's Carol, and I'd like to wish you all a very happy Christmas. Ho, ho, ho! <laughs> so 
So today on the introductory to jewellery making, um, I learned as a first time having a go at making jewellery, we learned how to do the simple loop, the wrap loop, and then how to fix fastenings onto the pieces we've made. So I've had a go at making a few bits and pieces, um, a key ring, I've had a go at sort of looping different types of beads and um, gemstones onto uh, different types of chains. I've had a go at making this, so we had a go at making the beaded bead with some beads around it and then done the fastening at the back. Um, also made a few sets of earrings as well, which we'll all take home and enjoy wearing. Tanzanite is truly spectacular. This precious gemstone is only found in one location in the world. Tanzania, Africa. Claimed to be a thousand times rarer than diamonds, tanzanite is the blue variety of zoisite. Tanzanite is extremely popular due to its trichroic nature, which means that three different colours can be seen when looking at the gem from different angles. In tanzanite's case, these colours are blue, pinkish violet and yellow. Uh, we're doing the best Christmas story ever. What? I thought, I thought we were doing the, you know, the reindeer thing. What, what reindeer reindeer thing? thing? Yeah, the, the reindeer thing. We're going to ride reindeers. It's going to put them in afterwards. Oh, OK. I thought um, I was supposed to be Jolly Saint Nick and we're doing uh, Rudolph the Ruby-Nosed Reindeer. Well, we're not, we're not doing Rudy. Yeah, we're doing Rudy. Yeah, no, 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 just a simple Merry Christmas to the camera, very easy. How about that? Okay. Yeah. As soon as we've established that we're doing Rudolph the Ruby. No! 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 No
I just um, started to uh, talk about the idea of uh, fissure filling. As I said, a very, very common technique. I, I think it, it's certainly over 75% of all the rubies that we find on the open market are fissure filled. And you'll see the variations in the, the finish of a ruby when it has been filled. So you can see there, um, naturally it occurs in almost that kind of rough state and uh, pretty uh, standardized process. Um, and the idea of fissure filling is that basically inject glass, liquid glass inside the gemstone to uh, get rid of any of the, the imperfections or the inclusions within the gemstone. You can see that what actually happens is you almost get a little air bubble caught inside the gemstone. It doesn't really detract from the beauty of the gemstone on most occasions and actually a lot of the times people, if they do find imperfection, will want it to be filled. But with natural ruby, you're never going to find that little inclusion, that little air bubble. You're going to have that gorgeous natural clarity that you associate with the gemstone. These are actually flying out the door. Uh, you can understand why, because of course there's so many people these days who are selling their jewellery designs maybe even working on personal commissions. And these are the gemstones that are maybe gonna set you apart from other crafters out there and show that you are an elite jewelry designer. Particularly if you are working on a one-on-one -on -one basis with your client, this is where you're really gonna show your exclusivity when you are able to source the real deal and some of the most luxurious gemstones available. Be so, what? Sorry, I just got distracted there because sales manager Scott told me the price point. I was not expecting to see this. We saw uh, those fantastic Tanzanites yesterday and they were what, 99 95 That was the kind of price point I had in my mind for this ruby. 37 95 it is a limited edition strand, I'm afraid, just double figures of availability. You can see how quickly they're beginning to fly out the door. If you are adding this to your order, if you're placing it in your basket, make sure you're checking out very, very quickly. You can see we've actually got fewer than 50 of these remaining in stock now. We've actually got people multi-buying this. Maybe you're planning a very special birthstone piece of jewellery. This is July's birthstone, so maybe you're planning in advance. Maybe somebody's got a big... A uh, birthday coming up, a 21st, a 40th, something like that. Um, you want to put a special piece of jewellery together, grab this while you can. Of course, when it comes to the big four, well, when it comes to any genuine gemstone, we are, of course, at the mercy of Mother Nature. We don't know how much ruby she's going to be uh, putting together. We don't know how many deposits of ruby are going to be found in the next 12 months or so. So we can't be certain how many strands of ruby we're going to be able to bring you. Of course, um, sourcing gemstones is never an exact science. But also, when you're talking about these more prestigious gemstones, it's not just Mother Nature we're up against, because the biggest designers on the planet will be dealing directly with the mine owners, as we do here at the Genuine Gemstone Company. Well, we try to. We always try to get as close to source as possible to ensure that not only so we get hold of these magnificent treats, but also we negotiate the best prices on the market. You can see now we're down to the final 38 strands available, and uh, it's just 38 pounds as well, so that's uh, quite apt. Uh, 37.95, 15 carats of ruby. Shall I share my little um, jewelry making tip with everybody? Okay, so there is some science. So this, here comes the science bit. Um, okay, so. My suggestion, it will definitely work in any metallic tone, but regular viewers will know, because I have said this before. Ruby traditionally is set into yellow gold, so you might want to use yellow gold plated findings. The reason for that is that if you look at a traditional colour wheel, the only colour that separates red and purple is blue. Now, when you are looking at rubies, the most val highly valued rubies on the market will display a purple hue as well as the red colour tones. And you want to extenuate that, of course. You want to bring that purple tone out. The way to do that is to neutralise your blues. And so the reason that you set it with yellow gold is because yellow gold will neutralise the blues, and then you get the reds and the purple tones. There you go. Is that good? Pretty much the only thing I know. So <laughs> now... I'm all out, see you later. And no, I'm joking, uh, we are now approaching limited availability. We started with uh, just over 60 strands, we now got just over 30, so roughly half the stock's been allocated. 
and at 37.95 I'm not surprised we've actually got a lot of people multi buying this so that's really impressive makes me think that uh, perhaps you've got quite successful jewelry making businesses or maybe you just want to be, create a really sort of indulgent piece of jewelry you want to have a huge carat weight in your designs actually I'll tell you um, we saw that design from Deb Rudge and what she did was she took the ribbon cord endings combined it with the wire to create a um, little traditional sort of shoulders on the gemstone it created um, a little bar of wire in the center where you only needed five or six rondelles to create a ring design so that means that you could really maximize on the profitability of this strand of course if you're creating ruby rings you are going to be demanding considered price points and if you only need to use five or six rondelles on each design you're onto a real winner there aren't you you, you do want to be a little more sparing with these very high-end gemstones, I suppose. You don't have to be, though. As I say, if you are trying to get those sort of three-figure valuations, <coughs> which many of our customers are now receiving, why not set this with maybe pearls or... If you did that, I mean, you could do a ring, you could do earrings, you could do either a bracelet or a necklace and make that one stra strand go an awful long way. Yeah, create a whole suite of ruby yeah, jewellery just from this one strand. Yeah. Fantastic, what more could you ask for? As I say, limited availability on this. Uh, we didn't have that many to start with. We do have, later in the show, Songhia Sapphire. It's amazing how beautiful that combination is. Because again, you've got the golden hues coming through there. So it's just extenuating the beauty of the rubies as well. And of course, you've got a little family reunion in your design there, haven't you? Because of course, rubies and sapphires are in fact the same gemstone. They're both... Um, examples of corundum that's the, uh, the gemological name for sapphires and rubies ruby is just a color classification of corundum you could describe ruby as red sapphire i suppose but we don't it is a gemstone it's in its own right uh, we are going to move on from that deal because we've also got quite a few of those placed in people's baskets we don't want anybody to be disappointed so if you've got it in your basket make sure you're checking out but while there's stock available you can add that to your order and there's still people coming through on the free phone number so congratulations if you did just add ruby to your collection we're going to move on and we're now going to bring you some very elaborate findings these are fantastic so you've got the bangles the earrings and the ring all in this design so these are gold plated base metals it's brass that's used here and actually hold on a second look at this detailing on the bangles again you know any kind of uh, detailing on your metalwork is going to add value to your designs of course because i mean this is the kind of thing that you would normally associate with with top end designer jewelry isn't it now the bangles are 65 millimeters in dimensions and you will and you also get these little loops here so very very easy to create the designs I'll hold it that way so you can see the loops you get 15 loops on your bangle designs and you do get two of the bangles as part of this particular set so uh, you could maybe oh, I mean actually I was just talking about setting rubies into uh, yellow gold can you imagine just hanging rubies off these little loops on the bangles this is a premiere launch. We've never seen these particular findings. Oh, look at that. It really does make the ruby pop, doesn't it? Fantastic. Look at that. So, I mean, all you need is a collection of head pins, really, and you can just hang them off the loops. You could also, um, looking at those, looking at the way the bangle is, you could also mm -hmm. thread um, the rubies onto some 0.4 or 0.25 oh. wire and loop it through so that you've got the loop still showing. But Love it and then the, the rubies go all the way around Love it. and then maybe use the loops to have a little drop coming off each one like that i love that look that looks fantastic doesn't it mm. oh beautiful there you go if you've got the rubies these are a must-have for me um, now you don't just get the bangles because you get two of the bangles but you also get the uh, little sort of lever arch earring findings if you'd like to describe that as in terms of the, the way it fastens certainly 
So those are so easy to wear as well. Um, again, gold plated brass on the earring findings. You get a pair of those. And those have got five loops on them, so very easy to create sort of a quite cohesive kind of matching sets of jewellery working with these findings. And look at this. The little sort of charm style adjustable ring as well. You've got three loops on there. Um, you can see there, it's not a closed ring loop. So very easily adjustable and it, you've got that gorgeous detailing running through the entire design as well. So two of the bangles, you've got your earring findings and your ring finding there. And this is a premiere launch. So this is the intended price point for this collection of findings, 1795. And there's a lot of people coming through at that price point. But that's not an exclusive launch. Wow. You weren't kidding. A lot of people coming through at 1795. Well, we've got a treat for everyone uh, because we're going to take it down to 1495 this morning. That is our exclusive launch price. And tomorrow morning at 9 a.m., I think that might be going back up to 1795. So definitely your best opportunity to get involved. And of course, who knows whether there'll be any left tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. because this is proving to be very, very popular with our customers this morning. I'm not surprised because so easy to create a beautiful matching set of jewellery, probably, you know, in, in minutes really because you've got the loops and you've got the, uh, the set sizes for each finding. That's perfect, isn't it? 14.95, uh, effectively making this a risk-free shopping experience because we're taking the price of your P&P or the equivalent of off the price point. So we're taking it from 17.95 down to 14.95 and that saving basically covers the price of your standard P&P which is just 2.95 for a 24 hour period. It runs from midnight to midnight. Um, amazing deal there and uh, a lot of people multi buying this deal. That's the way to shop from us here at Jewelry Maker because not only do we have that very reasonably priced P&P but you can add as many items to your order as you wish for that one price point. You uh, feeling inspired by well, this? Well, I book? am. They're a really rich looking finding, yes, aren't they? They are. And I think it gives you an awful lot of possibilities. Opulent, I, mm, I think. Yes, yeah. I think. I think that's a good. Yeah, I'm going to steal that off back off you, actually. Yeah. Opulent, <laughs> very opulent. And yeah, like you say, with the rubies, what a stunning combination. I love that. I, I love rubies in yellow. Really girl. stunning. Oh. We've had a little text from Fleur in the Westminster. I saw you were one of the first people on the phone line so, uh, for the rubies. In fact, like, you were the first person to uh, confirm on the rubies because I remember thinking that. It says, Ed, those rubies are amazing. Got mine, Fleur. Uh, yeah, as I said, I did see Fleur coming through very, very quickly. Uh, that's not guest designer, Fleur, because that's Fleur from the West Midlands. Fleur's not from the West Midlands, is she? Yeah. Or is she? Yeah. Is she down the road? Yeah. Oh, normally it says GD, so I know. <laughs> okay, sorry then. Yeah. It is guest designer Fleur, we think. We think. There might be more than one Fleur in the world. <laughs> <laughs> I love Fleur. Do you know what? Because uh, she's going to let my son uh, go and ride one of her horses. And I know, I saw that. that. I think that's uh, wonderful. Yeah. And uh, actually, you know what? Um, Fleur, I did a resin show with Fleur last yeah. week and she was taking me through the basics and I was uh, I am a little bit chomping at the bit to have a go at it now so it's just wonderful maybe your DVD will go missing <laughs> from the desk this morning has been launched at 4.95 uh, okay so if that is guess is on Fleur then uh, sorry I'm just being a bit stupid I've been up since 6.30 uh, I've got two shows to do today I'm back on at 5pm to do the late show with Laura Viney so I better wake myself up a little bit do you know what it is just because uh, Scott keeps uh, shocking me. <laughs> he keeps disorientating me with his prices. I'm going to move on because uh, so many people getting hold of those. We, uh, we want to find something for everyone. Where are we going to move on to then? Oh, eight over here. Hmm? Oh, yes, yeah, sorry. I went to the wrong box, that's why. <laughs> Can't count now. That's good, isn't it? Oh, wow. Not only have you got some very impressive gemstones here, but the organic finish to these nuggets is really giving them a beautiful finish. I'm, I'm instantly drawn to this citrine. 
It's got this gorgeous sort of champagne-like hue. Because of the uh, sort of organic facets that kind of being created by the tumbled effect, they're not actually uh, faceted by a lapidaris, but you know what I mean? The, the different angular shapes that you've got. And look at that. It's like a champagne tone, isn't it? Oh, my apologies. Uh, I've described it as citrine. It's actually yellow quartz, although same difference, really. Yellow quartz is pretty much citrine. Anyway, it's been classified as yellow quartz, so let's go with that. Uh, 100 carats there. And then, oh, wow, look at this. January's birthstone also jumping out at me. Rich red garnet. Look at that saturation of colour. When you see it in the flesh, you'll be able to appreciate the, the colour tones. Those, again, kind of like red wine tones, aren't they, Jen? Yes. Look at that. I mean, I think this is the most traditional colour tone that people associate with garnet. We know it comes in a variety of different colours, but you know, maybe uh, if people don't have that same knowledge as you do about gemstones, they might be looking for the red garnet. I'll tell you what, I've got myself in the right like little, little berries, muddle here, haven't I? Here we go. Right, so those, yeah, they are. Absolutely. Like That's berries. what they're like, aren't they? They've got that kind of uh, berry-like tone to them. Beautiful. Uh, I like that as a combination, actually. Uh, oh, I better hurry up with this one because uh, lots of people are already getting involved. Uh, have a look at this. It's almost like a, uh, a kind of a makeshift strand of amatrine, like we've created a strand of amatrine because you've got yellow and purple quartz on the same strand. You've got the lavender hues from the purple quartz. That is gorgeous, isn't it? That's beautiful. So it's a gorgeous uh, combination. Actually, they work beautifully together. Nice little trio there. Mm. Ah, my birthstone. Birthstone for June. Moonstone, white moonstone here. This is clever, actually, because with the tumbled effect, you really can make the most of that agile essence, that optical phenomenon that we associate with the gemstone. Absolutely gorgeous. Ooh, now, mm. this is good because we've got both sodalite here. Is that sodalite? Yes. Is that right? Yes. We do have <laughs> sodalite and we've also got lapis lazuli. There you go, those are really oh, popular lovely. gemstones, aren't they? You can see the subtle difference between the kind of denim blues that you get with yeah. sodalite and the more sort of rich royal blues that you get yeah. with lapis lazuli. You could do some really lovely sort of um, icy, wintry jewellery there, yeah. couldn't you? Well, Very ice queen. speaking of which, Ooh. how about that for the <laughs> final strand? There you go. Oh. That's your blue chalcedony. Almost looks like a blue lace agate. Yeah. Same kind of banding that you find. So, one, two, three, four, five six, seven individual strands of nuggets, but of course, they are all almost sort of double length, so certainly double the length of a traditional strand here at Jewelry Makers. It's more like getting 14 strands of gemstones, certainly in terms of the carat weights. Over 100 carats on every single strand. Can't go wrong with that, can you? Okay, and you certainly can't go wrong when sales manager Scott is in the hot seat giving us ridiculous <laughs> prices. If you were to buy them all individually, 22.65, already under 25 pounds. We're not staying there. We're taking it down to 14.95 this morning. And didn't um, didn't Mark also launch a DVD this morning? Uh, this morning, this, this week, week this I meant to I say. Did he did he did launched a DVD on Friday afternoon, sorry. And was that the chips and nuggets with wire? Am I? I think it was. Making this up as I go along. No, no, no. People are agreeing with me now all of a sudden. <laughs> Sorry. Damn busy in there and I'm distracting them. Um, so there we go. Um, yeah, so Mark launched his Chips and Nuggets and Wire DVD on Friday. So maybe you've already ordered that and you want to stock up on your nuggets. These are fantastic, aren't they? Soda Light, Yellow Quartz, Garnet. This beautiful purple and yellow quartz. White Moonstone, Lapis Lazuli, and your Blue Chalcedony, all for £14.95, should be over £20, or £22.85, something like that. Uh, you can ignore that price point this morning because we have created a wholesale nugget bundle for you. And uh, I have to say, there aren't, there's no two combination of gemstones that wouldn't work out of this, is no, there? No, there's not. They all work beautifully together. I have to say, when I saw the, the, the yellowy one, I thought it was sort of lemon quartz. It's a really pretty, 
or yeah. citrine. It's a, it's a really pretty yellow, isn't it? It's a, it, I think Very it has, soft. It's, there's kind of variations, isn't there? Mm. So you've got some that are giving you a golden hue, others that are giving you a more subtle kind of champagne tone. Yeah. They're gorgeous, aren't they? Absolutely I'm, yeah, lovely. Yeah, really falling in love with those. I'm just thinking maybe this is a combination, the golds and the, the lapis lazuli. Oh, yeah. That's nice, isn't it? Actually, there's so many different combinations here, you just can't go wrong. Thinking, oh, now that, like you were saying, for this sort of icy, wintry style jewelry design. These are flying out the door. There's 20 remaining in stock, although there's probably about 10 of these placed in baskets as well. So, approaching limited availability, approaching single figures. And how about this for a bit of femininity? Or well, maybe femininity. You like that? Okay. I do, yeah. There you go, they're my design suggestions. Twist, twist them together, because yeah, twisted. That's a great way they, to get an idea, actually. Especially with chips and nuggets, you can create such a stunning, look at that. And it's a good way to test, you know, whether the, uh, whether the colour combination it works is. as well. So actually, it's quite effective within design. It is, and that's actually making, it, it's bringing the, the uh, pinky tones through from the garnet. Absolutely, yep. It's bringing like out the, uh, the more feminine hue it is, the gun, isn't, it? isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. Gorgeous combinations here. Uh, okay, final 11 in stock. If you've got it in your basket, you need to check out. In fact, there's 10 remaining in stock and there's 11 in baskets, so I think somebody could miss out. We're going to move up. Ah, and we're going from one extreme to the other here because we've had the kind of uh, textured organic finish in the nuggets, and now we're going for the very precise polished rounds in your seed beads. These are all two millimetres in size. I mean, again, very, very popular. They tend to uh, be associated with particular disciplines, don't they? They're and, great uh, as little accents. Yeah, accent stones traditionally, I suppose, but then when you think about soutache designs, or, yeah. or, I mean, wire work, if you're creating wire work rings, they're great as accent stones. They are, they? and really good little fillers as well between, if, you know, if, you, if you're doing beady beads or yes. something like that, or ladder weaves, they're great as, as, as fillers. <coughs> and um, again, classic combinations with the colours. In fact, almost the same colour combinations that we saw in the nuggets, but here in the seed beads. Because again, you've got the kind of lavender tones from your amethyst. As I say, these are all two millimetres. So you've got the lavender tones from your amethyst. You have got, ah, again, you've got soda light, giving you this kind of denim blues. These are Ah, this is interesting. This is um, Botswana agate. We don't see very delicate seed beads of Botswana agate very often, do we? That's amazing. Uh, we've got kind of apricot tones here from uh, your quartzite, actually. We've got red tiger's eye. Oh, I'll tell you what. Would those go quite well with your rubies, perhaps? There's a little accent, maybe the rubies and the Ooh, red tides yeah, like so that. That's good, just... isn't it? Yeah. Ooh, well, hello. <laughs> it's me golden tigers. I'm making a break for it. Get back here. There you go. Uh, so there you go. You've got two different variations in your tigers eye. Then you've got your white quartzite, giving you those kind of icy hues again, and your white magnesite. eye masquerading as how light in my opinion because you've got that kind of silver make through it so is isn't it I'm sorry. and could you correct me if I'm wrong uh, definitely but could you put the seed beads into resin yes you do yeah, yeah. brilliantly it works brilliantly oh, okay. done a few pieces <laughs> I quite often use them in resin but um, as, as almost as a bezel so if, if you if you're setting into a bezel tray and then put the seed beads around the edge it gives it that extra pop and sort Great of frames idea. whatever's going on in the inside because sometimes the bezels are really sort of fine and you don't very you see don't see very much yes but you can make it more ornate so it becomes those. like um excuse the term might be confusing but it becomes like a beading yes, around the, it does. around the outer edge definitely that's fantastic isn't it that's beautiful and uh, i suppose they're used in a similar way <coughs> in suitage designs to frame the outer edge of a yes. cabochon 
And, that, and again, another thing I've, I've used them for in resin um, is if you if you have some of the little very fine head pins, yes, the, the put a head pin way. through and just, then just obviously snip them off, and it gives you another dimension that you're setting into your resin. Fantastic! So there you go. You can't so go you wrong can with it. So really for all the resin designers who've got hold of uh, their DVD this morning, they're capturing memories in their uh, resin DVD. That could be a fantastic opportunity to. Uh, Maximise on your one PMP per day. If you do want to add the DVD to your order, details of that are at the bottom of the screen right now. If you were to get all eight strands of these seed beads, it'd be normally be twenty four sixty. That's not going to be your jewellery maker price this morning. We are going to take it down to a wholesale price point. We're going to save you the best part, ten pounds here. Taking it down from twenty four sixty. To fourteen ninety-five. Unbelievable prices, and of course, sometimes uh, people might have more of a traditional consideration when it comes to gemstones, thinking about, you know, price per carat weight, if you like. But actually, if you think about the amount of wastage and labour that's involved in putting together a seed bead, these are actually, you could say, these should be a more considered price because it's far more difficult, of course, to cut and polish a two mil round and they are so precise, aren't they, they in their are finish? They are actually, yeah, they're lovely. And surprisingly, they have a reasonable sized hole as well in them, drill hole. So they work sort of really well. Amazing, 14.95. Um, we have, again, created a queue on our free phone number. Don't panic about it. You will be uh, answered very, very soon. The help team are uh, working through a lot of calls this morning. Of course, we've got uh, four four channels working out of the bit uh, out of the building, and of course, uh, the final weekend where we can guarantee Christmas delivery if you are uh, using our standard delivery of just two ninety five a day, one p and p per day. But as I say, we are very very busy today here at the Genuine Gemstone Company, and a uh, great way to shop from us is to get involved online at jewellerymaker.com uh, but do make sure that you're checking out your baskets uh, don't want anybody to miss out because they've left items sitting in the baskets 14.95 um half the stock has now been allocated and that equates to over 100 of this particular bundle flying out the door in just minutes and we've got these heading all across the globe so we've got buyers coming in from the continent eleanor regular viewer over in uh, Barcelona and featured wow. on the Wall of Fame on Friday as well. And uh, we've also got buyers in the States coming through and of course the length and breadth of the UK where we're based. Uh, so congratulations, particularly if you are multi-buying because maybe you have uh, developed a bit of a penchant, shall we say, for the seed beads. Uh, maybe you're a soutache designer or a wire worker and these are very in keeping with the kind of designs you put together start dialing that free phone number right now we started with quite a healthy stock level of this although we are now uh, down to a little more limited availability because they are flying out the door not surprised uh, we saved you nine pound 30 or something best part of 10 pounds worth the savings there if you let me off uh, a few pence so it should be 2460 down to 14.95 so there you go uh, if you do want to get involved please 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 Stay on the phone lines if you are in a short queue. And if you're still umming and ahhing about it, I wouldn't wait too much longer because it looks like that could be a sellout deal. 14.95 this morning, we are going to move on. Ooh, I take it I've mixed the order up. <laughs> Is it the silver? Okay, uh, can I be naughty? And tell everybody, you're not supposed to do this, but start dialing the free phone number right now. Um, otherwise, you could miss out on this deal. We did launch some of our uh, wire ribbon yesterday morning and the silver variety proved to be the most popular. Normally, we say don't dial until the graphics hit the screen, but if I were you, I'd start dialing now. We've still got a slight cue from the previous um, offer. So start dialing right now, it is now available. And of course, all of the web buyers can now add this to their basket. It is the 24 inches of silver coloured memory uh, mercury wire ribbon. Uh, so there you go, look at that effect. It's absolutely spectacular, isn't it? We've seen quite a few designs. Uh, actually, we have given the, uh, the teal coloured 
ribbon to Fiona. So she's going to be creating some inspirational designs for us to have a look at towards the end of the show. Have a look at this. Love this design. So this is the silver. I mean, you can create any of the effects we've seen this morning using any of the colours, but I just picked this one because obviously that's the silver. But I mean, you see, that's absolutely gorgeous. I mean, the possibilities are endless with this, aren't they? And basically, we're thinking of this as kind of a deluxe memory wire, if, uh, deluxe wire mesh, if you like, because it's kind of like a detailed variety. Has a similar texture to it, that's the reason I say that. Um, actually, just having a look. Just going to have a look. Ah, yes. Just checking that you can open it up uh, in the same way, and you can. Always worth having a little play, isn't it, just to find out exactly how these things work. Yeah, so you can open it up exactly as you do with the wire mesh. Although I have to say, many of the designs, we haven't bothered to do that because the effect and the texture that you get from it is already so luxurious. It is luxurious. It's, it's really stunning. You can get some fantastic effects with it. It's gorgeous. Mm. Now, the silver tone, of course, you can understand why it's been so popular because it is a traditional metallic tone associated with luxury design. Wow! The phone lines have lit up like a Christmas tree. <laughs> and there you go. We have matched the price of all of the previous launches this morning. This is an exclusive launch to us here this morning on the morning show. Um, we have done a lot of price comparisons over the years. We've been trying to get this into stock for some time. We've been aware of this. Um, hasn't been readily available in the UK um, until now. It's traditionally been available in the States, but the price points we were looking at are around about $48 <coughs> on the open market. We did do some price comparisons and we found a price point of around about £27. As I say, you know, if you know an independent supplier, of course, we won't know about them. So don't quote me as saying that's an exact price comparison. Just saying those are the prices that our research has shown. And we've tried to blow that price out of the water. And I think we have done it $14.95. I mean, everybody that's seen this so far, and I include, you know, uh, Debbie Bulford is through in the workshop room with our, uh, our Sunday experience ladies this morning i think they are all ladies <laughs> this morning um and every single person that's laid eyes on this there's everybody don't they oh look at them they're hard at work <laughs> <laughs> they didn't even notice they didn't. that they were on live tv there you go um so everybody that's laid eyes on it has instantly wanted to work with it in fact Fiona was so desperate that we even gave her it to Yay. her. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, you've already created a design. I've, I've right? created some designs with them already. Oh, can yeah. I go and grab Fiona's designs? Would that be okay? Yeah. Okay, I'm going to run over. No. Oh no, sorry. One. Here we go. And that one. Oh, beautiful. And these also feature the shell, but oh, they are gorgeous, Fiona. Thank you. Can't get over your designs this morning. Look at this. So this was uh, created by uh, Sue, this design. We've seen this earlier in the show. But these are the designs that Fiona has worked on. Wow, I've been distracting you every five seconds. You still <laughs> managed to put these together. So um, how did you find it to work with then? So that you've got first-hand insights now. I absolutely love it. I've got so many ideas going around in my head. I have to get hold of some more. Right, okay. now this is, that's really exciting when designers say that, I yeah. think, because it shows you know, the kind of inspiration that is provided by a product, which yeah. is interesting, you know, like if the cogs start turning well, instantly. Is, they're they are, they're and it's like, mm, have I got time to do this bit now? And <laughs> <laughs> well, um, still plenty of stuff available on this particular item, although uh, this is probably the most popular colour tone so far this morning. This is a silver variety. Fiona's been working with the turquoise or teal tone. Uh, we haven't launched that yet. That's coming up in the final hour of the show, so there's still another chance to get hold of uh, some of the Mercury wire right now. The teal coming up, we have already launched the uh, kind of chocolate brown or, or antique bronze and the rose gold colour tones of those. And uh, those are still available. All $14.95 this morning, so very, very uh, reasonably priced very competitively priced uh, according to our research into the prices 14.95 what i would suggest is because it's quite difficult to gauge exactly how useful it's going to be for your designs through the tv screen 
We've extended our money back guarantee until the end of January. I would say get it home, have a look at it in the flesh because as Fiona's just alluded to, once you see it, the creative juices start flowing. Amazing stuff. I love it. Yeah, as you can see, yeah, just <laughs> falling in love with it instantly. Um, but you know, if you, if you get it home and you decide, oh, this isn't quite in keeping with what I'm trying to create, you can simply send it straight back to us all the way up until the end of January. So $14.95, um, that will remain uh, available both on the website and via the free phone number while stocks last. Um, $14.95, incredible deal. Um, I'm just going to move these to one side. And we're now going to launch the final kit of the morning. Oh, this is gorgeous. Now this is kind of mixed media kit, isn't it? Because we've got the inclusion of gemstones, cords and polymer clay. Oh, and this is the, uh, the souffle Sculpey clay. This is gorgeous, isn't it? I've, I've actually seen the uh, effect in some designs of this. And again, we've mirrored the colour tones with the gemstones as well, so very easy to uh, create gorgeous. Stones. Oh, look at these as well. The Shell Pearl Cabochons. Bet you fell in love with these. I did, you, yeah, absolutely Amazing. love them. These are quite large. They are coming in at 30 millimetres each. You get three of these as part of the kit. You can see the colour tones that you get here in the souffle um, sculpey clay. So you've got the olive green the nude colour, the silver and the amethyst purple. You've got your traditional threading materials as always. Not always, I suppose, but uh, traditionally you get beading thread, monofilament and elastic. And then we've got this beautiful, is this satin cord? Fantastic, because they absolutely mirror the gemstone colours here. So you've got your green shell pearl and your faceted rondelles of purple quartz. Oh, there you go, look at that, that's a nice uh, little image there. It almost, that, that, that looked like the Sydney Opera House. <laughs> on, the, <laughs> on the side. <laughs> um, so yeah, look, um, this is actually my favourite combination of colour tones in, in jewellery of fashion. Uh, when you see the purples and the greens, I just think it's so effective. It's really, I may, yeah, I, it's I, gorgeous. Purple and green just, they're just, they just made work, it match made in heaven, aren't they? Absolutely. Can't go wrong. So you've got the faceted purple quartz and you've got, it's kind of like a mint green shell pearl. Would yeah. Go along with that? I would say that, yeah. yeah. There you go. Uh, okay, and then you've got the satin cord, the sculpey clay, and those huge pearl cabochons as well as your traditional threading materials. Now, anybody who's been watching since 9 a.m. this morning will know that sales manager Scott has been on one. It's the only way to describe it. Now, I, when I went into the gallery, there was a, the faint smell of fast food in there. <laughs> so he, he, he's nearly recovered, I have to say. It's been a massive benefit to us that he hasn't quite been on his game. I think the prices <laughs> have been going a little bit too low. Normally, if you were to buy all these items individually, it'd be £35. But going to give you another fantastic saving this morning. He's taking it down to 21 95 I'll tell you what, these are some of the most reasonably priced kits I've seen in some time here on Jury Maker. The first kit we launched this morning came in at under £20 and since then we've had two very expansive jewellery kits available both at 21 95 I'm blown away by just how much you're getting for that price point this morning. That's amazing and of course Given that you also get the polymer clay, the possibilities are absolutely endless, aren't they? Because of course you can create truly bespoke jewellery designs when you're working with your polymer clay. Sorry, I'm, I'm indulging a bit of coffee this morning, but you will <laughs> forgive me. I'm doing eight hours of presenting today because I'm also doing the late show, so I'm back on your screen at 5pm. Uh, so. I'm having a coffee. You'll let me off, won't you? Um, I'll tell you what, every time I do this, all I, all I get on Facebook is text messages saying, can I have a jewellery maker mug? When can I buy a jewellery maker mug? <laughs> <laughs> these, are, these are old school. These are from back in the day. Just spilled me coffee everywhere now. Uh, 2194. Oh, my word. I hadn't even seen this bangle. This mm, bangle. I've had fun with this kit. As soon as I opened it, two hours later, I'd got two pendants and a bangle. <gasps> 
Look at that. And these shell pearls have baked in, with the clay oh, really? in the clay oven at 130, and they've come out exactly. Out. I did one to start off with just to make sure it was fine. Just a little test. And it came, there's no difference to it after it had been baked. Fantastic. So there you go. That's a. That's why we have our experts on the show. They do the experimentations for us, and then we know <laughs> <laughs> what we can achieve. Yeah. Gorgeous. Listen to you, I don't know how to do a crumb, eh? Look <laughs> at it. That's Kumi Oh, it's Kumi Hino, isn't it? You are a Kumi Hino artist. What am I talking about? I'm not with, I'm not with it either. Yeah, no, I, I didn't even go to the I Christmas can do that. <laughs> <laughs> That's gorgeous. That Kumi Hino braid there. Just simple, isn't it? Just simple. With the gemstones, though, yeah. it's just. The colour, the souffle clay, the colours of the souffle clay and the gemstones and the. This whole kit goes together so well. And yet I could have made loads more because obviously I've only done a small amount of Kumihimo. Mm, sure. I could have done an awful lot more, but I've sort of wanted to, I really wanted to focus on those cabochons as well because they're just stunning. Just stunning. <laughs> if you've already got involved with this kit. <laughs> Scotter claws in there. <laughs> <laughs> Just giving you a little treat. He's taking it down to 19.95. We wanted to get it under 20 pounds <laughs> to make it as accessible as possible. And all of a sudden, lots of people coming through on the free phone number as well. 19.95. <laughs> I think it should have been 35 pounds. See. You just uh, saved yourself it's 15 fantastic. pounds in missing this kit. And look at these designs. I mean, you've made a real feature of the cabochon. I have, yeah. They, I mean, I'd, I love them. Um, I've never seen them before. And the, as I say, the minute that I opened this kit, I just it, it hit me straight away what I wanted to do. So I did want to make a feature, but I didn't want to just do all pendants. So I did the bangle as well. They're absolutely gorgeous. And you can see, you know, <coughs> even the little down to, you know, that attention to detail with the little purple just, quartz yeah, and the pendant Just as to well. pull them in. I just find it so gorgeous and such an interesting look. And you know, this is what people want when they're investing in bespoke jewellery design. They want to know it's a one of a kind. They do, absolutely. And so are you going to show us how to do a bit of polymer I'm going to show you how to do the one on the end. This one? Yeah. Oh, yes. OK. <laughs> I don't know why. I, I, <laughs> that's my favourite design. Not that any of the rest of my arm is gorgeous, but I just like that one. I just, it's the, the twist, and I think this, the, it's the first time I've used um, the souffle clay, mm. and I really liked it. Um, it's sort of quite firm. Um, I love the texture. I haven't put any texture into it, but it, when it when it's baked, it just looks like suede. What what is the difference? What, why is it um, described as a different? I think it's a, it, it's a stronger clay, so it's it's good for sort of carving into, I believe. Ah, okay. Um, and yeah. it's it sort of sort of holds the shape quite well. What's the um, workshop that? Debbie does got a strange, or is it a French sounding name? Makumagane. Makumagane, there you yes. go. I didn't want to get it wrong. Makumagane is it's it's suitable brilliant for that. that. Yeah, okay. because it is firmer, so when you're impressing your shapes into it, it's going to sort of keep those right. where you're putting so it. So it'll hold it's, it's the structure good. a little more. And I found that we're doing the twists that I've put round the edge of the bezel and the outside of the pendant, it's kept them really quite nice and uniform. It's so gorgeous. So it's, it's, it's not quite as. Um, perhaps sticky as, 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 as the it's Primo. Gonna hold oh, I love it, absolutely love it. Gorgeous. Okay, well let's have a look at your uh, okay. demo then. Well I've prepared this already because I, I wanted to be able to spend more time on putting the twists and everything together and setting the cabochon. Now I've taken equal parts of the green clay and the, I think it's a cement clay. Right. And, and mix those to get a, a, a good colour match and I'm taking one of the um, big Daddios, oh fat yeah, daddios, fat daddios, fat daddios, and I'm putting that on there, and I'm just going to press. Make sure I've got it right in there. Press that down. Really, First time really, we launched really, really. those, I thought people just uh, giving me a new nickname <laughs> when I walked in the <laughs> office. I, I know it is. It is a weird name, actually, isn't it? But sticks in the mind, down, though, I suppose. It does, yeah, yeah, and they are absolutely brilliant. Oh, look at that! So, so they're actually cookie got, cutters, aren't they? They are yeah. actually. I, ca I can't imagine whether you'd want to use the, the biggest one unless you were doing some sort of ha um, Helen Braille, um, who uses these a lot in, her, in polymer clay, which does wonderful shapes and things. So with the bigger ones, you'd be able to do that. I just want a big cookie. 
Well, yeah, <laughs> I wouldn't mind a big cookie either, I'm quite hungry. Anyway, having done that, what I then did was put some um, bacon bond or translucent clay on the back of the cabochon ah, okay. and set that where I wanted it to be. Now, I started using these little um, Teflon sheets. Yeah, the Teflon sheets are fantastic, They're really, aren't they? really handy, actually. Um, because you can just put those in the oven, you haven't got to move, keep handle, over handling of your course. piece. Now, I've also then with the purple clay, you see that one there is yeah. the full colour as it comes out of the packet. Oh, I did that one that there, has more of a is, it's more of sort effect, of um, yeah. a lilac y tone. Yeah, yeah. And that one has been mixed equal quantities with the purple and the sandy coloured. The, the, the kind of nude yes, colour, yeah. Is it cement or something like that? Yeah. So, to get your little sausages, I'm just going to. Roll that out and just use your um, the, the acrylic snake roller oh. that came in with the it's called kit. Sand Castle. Sand Castle. Yeah, I, th I did sort of in the back of my mind, I, I was thinking sand, and then think I have I got the right one. It's the grey. I think the grey may be called cement. So we've got a nice long piece there. I've already got some green there that I've done. Just roll those two together. So this piece that we're doing now is just to make the twist. So I'm putting the two pieces together and just as you would with a piece of wire actually, keep them separate as you're twisting them round and it's only, and just move down really steadily and keep it going, keep it going till it's all nicely in there and twisted. It's quite thick at this stage and that's absolutely fine because we're going to reduce it down in a few minutes. Okay. Just keep going down because you need more of this than you think you do as you're starting to go around. So as soon as I get to the end of the green, we'll cut that off. Okay, and we're there. So just give that a little trim. And then, whoops, just discard that. Work down a section at a time. If you work down a section at a time, you'll find that the uh, clay won't break. Right. And it also means you're going to get a more consistent shape. If you start from one end at the other, you're going to find the piece in the middle goes incredibly thin. Well, it's just a little bit at a time, moving down there. And you'll see when I move my hands that that has actually taken quite a nice, neat twist there. And then I'm going to give it just one more little one all the way down. And I'm gradually, as I'm doing this now, I'm gradually just pulling this out. <coughs> Okay, now I'm going to take this one back and I'm first of all going to roll some of this um, clay out and I took, I think I put the green at the bottom, I can't remember which way, no I didn't, I, sorry, I put the purple next, I'm just going to have to just roll that out slightly more. So we get some purple first, now what we're trying to do here is sort of set the edge so that this is going to hold the nice pearl cabochon in place. Okay, take that round there, just gently sort of tap that in. And now I've been quite lucky there, for some magic reason I've actually got exactly the right length, so I'm really happy with that. That's uh, more by luck than judgement. But if you hadn't done that, just take your blade and snip a little bit off. Try and get a nice neat edge on the bottom, although you're not really going to see it because it's going to be hidden by the twist. Now this first bit, I'm going to just twist this bit out a little bit more and make it a little bit more um, narrow. I'm then going to lay that on the top, bringing the end to the bottom. In fact, I'm going to just take that bit off again because I don't like the end. And of course, the beauty of this is it's not sticking too much, so you've got plenty of window of opportunity in there to do that. Move it round. That's one of there. the best things about polymer clay, isn't ah, it? You do get you lots of time to play. You do. You know, yeah. it, it's so forgiving. Something now, like resin, you, you do have to act a little more quickly. You do, don't but you? you do, yeah, because you've got a narrower window in which you can do it. But polymer so. clay, you can keep manoeuvring it. Now, all I've done there at the bottom where that join is, just, just at that bottom there, just rub your finger over it so that you're going to sort of just blend that in. And then I'm going to take the other end. And lay that at the top and I'm going to extend that just slightly above the top mm -hmm. okay and take that around there now what I also did I haven't actually quite got enough um, clay there so I'm just going to pull it out a little bit more 
And what I did was just to lay some translucent um, clay around the edge there, just to give it a little extra bit of a, of a bond. Okay. Unfortunately, I seem to have managed to untwist that, but that's okay. It's just live telly, there you isn't go. it? Right. So at the top then, just take your blade with the right way up, because I'm forever cutting my fingers, and snip it off exactly where you want it to be. Move it round to make it easier to work with for yourself and then squeeze that together. And that is it, as easy Fantastic. as that. And you can literally bake it with the cabochon in the centre. Bake it with the cabochon in the centre. What I did do was yep. just put in my three little holes just to give me pointers of where I'm going to put those um, the little, little purple, purple quartz, quartz yeah. so that the holes are there ready and you're not going to force that against the clay. Absolutely fantastic. You can see the final uh, image. They'll all be uploaded to Facebook at the end of the show. And uh, right now, we're going to see what you've been creating. A final instalment this morning of the Wall of Fame. Welcome back to Jury Maker Time for the Wall of Fame. Another chance to see some of your design, Santa. Yeah, Here we go. Started. Look at that. This is from uh, Michelle um, near Homfirth. Homfirth. Hi, all at JM Festive Towers. <laughs> I hope you're all feeling Christmassy. Very. Um, just a simple make for this week's Wall of Fame. Three crochet chains of, of your new Zari thread sewn together and finished off with your new fold over clasps and toggle class ball from JM. Just the thing for making my, for my Christmas party dress. Right, nice. Happy Christmas to all and congratulations to Carrie and Hub Carol and Hubby on their wonderful news of Hattie becoming a big sister. And that's love to all from Michelle in Honfirth. Wow, fantastic. Brilliant. That was beautiful, doesn't it? Absolutely, Absolutely lovely. Um, I have got number four to five. This has been sent in by Joe, and it says, "Morning all. Every time I write Wall of Fame entries to you and send, there's an error and everything vanishes. I hate typing, <laughs> <laughs> so I shall only say that Zari thread, turquoise, and most other components were bought from yourselves. Now I'm off to beat up my computer." <laughs> <laughs> Well, I think we've all been there, haven't oh, we? Oh, yes. Um, you have been entered into the prize draw. Good luck, Joe. You are number four, two, five. Uh, here we have a really lovely tree of life. Oh, gorgeous. And this is from Paula B. Hello, JM. I made this with a kit I got from you guys. It's got obsidian nuggets for the leaves, faceted clear quartz on the trunk, and black agate plain rounds on the bottom. Hope I get to see it on the WAF. That would make my day. Well, hopefully this has made your day then. Mm -hmm. um, good luck to everyone, including myself, as bank is low on funds, <laughs> uh, because you have so many bargains and beautiful gems. Thanks to all at JM. You are great. That's you brilliant. Four and a v. Uh, lovely design there. Ah, here we go. Look at this classic monochrome look here. Number 426. This is coming from Jackie. It says, Hi, all at JM. Here's my entry for this week. I uh, hope you like it. It's smoky quartz and pearls. All the materials are from JM. It is for one of my colleagues, and she's really pleased that she designed the. Uh, oh, she designed what she wanted. It's lovely being able <coughs> to. Uh, custom make things for people thanks for all the choice of gems and uh, fixings could I request more silver coloured sterling silver S clasps well yes I'll put that to the buying team <laughs> they tend to be uh, far more gold plated ones which are beautiful uh, and I find uh, the silver ones just as useful good luck to everyone all the best from Jackie in Bookham uh, congratulations Jackie and that is a fantastic design and as we said nice to have that kind of one on one yeah partnership with your client as well. Really? Uh, number 426, good luck for the draw. And I have number 424, and this is from Irene. Uh, in Paisley, happy Christmas to everyone at JM. Red agate pendant with copper colour wire, all from JM. Cab case in nine strands wire with a five in nine weave. A bit fiddly to tie in the 18 ends, but quite pleased with the result. It's a first entry for a long time. Thank you from Irene in Paisley. Oh, that is stunning. 
absolutely beautiful, intricate wire mm. right there, gorgeous. Yeah. Um, as you can see on screen right now are details about the launch of Fiona's DVD, which came earlier this morning, which was capturing memories in resin. Just 4 95 a great addition to that one PMP per day. Uh, and coming up after the break, one <laughs> of the most elusive and prestigious varieties of sapphire on the planet. In fact, we are quite lucky this morning because this is the highest quantity we've ever been able to source of sapphire and probably one of the most beautiful varieties I've ever seen as well. You've got beautiful canary sapphires as well as those panaparacha colours coming through and you know what that means, higher quantity lower price point. That's coming up just after the break, so don't move a muscle, we'll be back in two. I'm never going to get the consistency <laughs> twist. And it, and it hurts. <laughs> yeah, it does. Um, 9.95, folks. I'll put them in the end. Okay. Squidge it shut, turn it that way, and then you slide that. Burn. Now today is a big day for you all. Now can anyone tell me which L comes in brown, grey, greenish and blue? Labradorite. That's easy. Now see Ben, in this world there's a very powerful gemstone. It's called the I shouldn't I can't believe you've had a magical Labradorite gemstone all this time. Ah, well I've got something to tell you. I'm not who you think I am. Ha ha ha. Mwa ha ha phenomena! <laughs> Have a magical Christmas, jewellery makers. Jewellery Maker have an extensive range of DVDs for all abilities. Each of our mediums has an introductory DVD to help you get started. If you're already an experienced jewellery maker, we have a collection of projects and more advanced DVDs to take your designs to the next level. We are always filming new DVDs with our specialist guest designers, so visit our website for more information. Add a mystery gift to your order today and you'll receive a surprise full of fantastic treats and goodies with a huge saving guaranteed. Check out our online reviews from Jewelry Maker customers who have previously purchased one of these mystery gifts. Go on, treat yourself with a little gift. everybody, it's Becky. Uh, just a quick message to say I've been here a year now and I really feel like part of the family and that is due in no small part to you guys at home. So to all of you and my reindeer family, happy kiss moose! Welcome back to Jurymaker. Time now for one of the most prestigious launches of the morning. I say that because we've already seen those gorgeous rubies and now we are able to bring you beautiful Sungia Sapphire. This comes from a particular location in Tanzania. And actually, Tanzania is, is fortunate in that it has one of the richest saturation of gemstones in the world. There's actually um, a huge kind of valley that flows the almost the entire length of Tanzania from the north to the south. It's at some points it's 300 kilometers wide and there are huge deposits of gemstones throughout of course we know of course famously Tanzanite comes from that one location and uh, this particular variety of sapphire also is found in that region. Sungia sapphire is a uh, quite interesting really in that of course sapphires have been revered for well 
hundreds if not thousands of years and yet this particular variety wasn't discovered until the mid 1990s and so you know it's only in recent times that we've really had the opportunity to really expose the beauty of this particular variety of sapphires absolutely gorgeous and of course you can see these beautiful intense color tones that you find in this gemstone a lot of the color tones that you'll see in this particular variety are reminiscent of sort of canary sapphires or even paraparacha sapphires paraparacha sapphires will actually demand the highest price points on the market those again come from a specific region but these have the exact same color tones that we find in this particular variety now we have been very very fortunate in that we do a lot of gemstone sourcing from Tanzania as I say it's a very gem rich area of the world and um, you know, we do understand that we have a responsibility in taking resources from these regions and we do try to give something back this time last year of course we did our uh, charity cycle where we digitally cycled from the studios to Tanzania and back and uh, we raised a hundred thousand pounds so we're uh, building five schools in Tanzania so we try to you know give something back to the communities where we're taking resources from so we are um, you know very responsible in that respect the other thing of course means that some of these gemstones in the past you know particularly when they were first discovered in the mid 90s you know certain companies may have tried certainly to negotiate exclusivity with certain mines so it would have upped the luxury of the items the rarity of the items but it would also have made them much more difficult for everyone to get hold of we here at the genuine gemstone company try to work directly with mine owners to ensure that we can get hold of these elusive varieties of gemstones and that also allows us to negotiate very very competitive prices on this particular occasion we have been able to get hold of quite a significant number of Songhia sapphire strands of course the larger the quantity the lower the price point now a huge number of people already coming through and you can understand at two pounds per carat for shaded Songhia sapphire and actually let's just have a look at the color tones here because it's described as shaded and let's have a look at those variations in the color because there's a beautiful transition from the canary yellows into the kind of panaparaccia type colors and even sort of tutti frutti tones there as well because you're getting almost pink hues coming through as well lots and lots of people coming through on the free phone number we're not going to stay at 29.95 tomorrow if you're getting involved at 9am it might be that price point but right now we are going to give you an exclusive launch price 24.95 for 15 carats of beautiful shaded sapphire again if you're working with this gemstone hugely prestigious one of the traditional big four so rubbing shoulders with the likes of emeralds diamonds and of course rubies have a look at this as a combination so if you got hold of your rubies earlier of course that was a limited edition strand and a little more considered as a result here because of the quantity we've been able to source we've actually taken this down to 24.95 this is not a price point you would normally associate with one of the most exclusive and elusive varieties of sapphire on the planet and actually you know it's so interesting that it's been discovered in the mid 90s because it's kind of um you know a lot of the varieties of gemstones have been you know um, available for hundreds of years and therefore you know they have associations with certain eras of jewelry this is pretty much from our generation isn't it you know uh, uh, the mid 90s not not too long ago although a lot of the people I work with look like they might have been born in the mid 90s uh, making me feel old uh, but 24.95 I have to say this is not the price point that I would traditionally associate with some gear sapphire I have been fortunate enough to sell this variety of sapphire on our sister channel uh, Gems TV and I can tell you now we would be demanding at least three figure sums for that particular gemstone
amazing price point this morning and it is all down to the buying power we have here at the Genuine Gemstone Company. Uh, I, I, I'm sorry if I'm getting a little bit excited, a bit shouty there, but I seriously cannot comprehend offering you 15 carats of Shady Tom Gear Sapphire for $24.95. Absolutely unbelievable. Again, so beautiful, set into the yellow gold tones. I mean, um, what would you do with this strand, uh, Fiona? Take it home with me. <laughs> <laughs> Not surprised. Oh, do you know I make a lot of um, bracelets mm. that have a single charm coming off them that I've done a paint technique or a resin technique right. in. And they're just lovely because they're just quite delicate. They just sort of sit nice. They just sit at the base of your wrist. That's all. And then you've got the charm there, and then you've got quite a few left over that you can make earrings and, and a nice cluster ring with. So you, you want to be a little bit sort of thrifty, shall yeah. we say, with the carrot weights that you, you include in your design. You can afford yeah. to do that with this variety of sapphire. They because, are stunners. You know, it's demanding, <laughs> very, very high price points. I mean, if you go on to... Uh, you know, the open market, do your own research, how much you can pay for some gear stuff, and ignore. The first thing you're going to see is lots of Gemporia designs if you do your own yeah. research because uh, we are so prominent online. Ignore those prices because, of course, here at Gems TV, we are going to offer you the best value in the market. Have a look at some of the luxury designer prices for Sun Gear Sapphire. Trust me, you're talking at least three figure sums traditionally, maybe even four figure sums for this particular variety. So, you know, if you are maybe thinking about selling your designs in 2015, or maybe you've already got established clientele who come back to you time and time again for those one-off commissions, this is the kind of gemstone that you want to present to your customers. One of the most prestigious varieties of sapphire on the market and no one needs to know that you've paid a wholesale price. $24.95 is absolutely ridiculous, but uh, that's exactly what we've done this morning. And uh, tomorrow at 9 a.m. it will go back up to $29.95, still just two pounds a carat. Amazing, we're gonna move on. We've got a lot to get to before the end of the show. And it's another opportunity now to invest in your seed beads. We saw the popularity of these earlier in the show. Uh, these are your two mil seed beads and these are faceted varieties oh these are this is a gorgeous combination of colors wow okay so we've got the monochrome varieties here we've got your jet black seed beads these are all faceted this is gorgeous because you get a really amazing amount of sparkle mm, from such a delicate really gemstone isn't it that's your black agate there in uh, in your two mil faceted rounds then you've got your clear quartz so that's obviously you know very traditional sort of monochrome look then you've got your faceted golden tiger's eye and then have a look at these beautiful sort of plum tones that you're getting from your faceted garnet gorgeous for uh, january babies of course that's their birthstone but really the sparkle on those is amazing it's incredible isn't it mm. Even, um, you know, with the, uh, with the black gemstones here, the black agate, you're getting that fantastic luster, but the clear quartz, very, very sparkly. That's not necessarily gonna come through on screen because of the amount of light in the studio, but I can certainly see that. That's why I would always advise that you get your gemstones home, and that way you get a much more well-rounded view of how they're gonna work in your designs when you see them in the flesh. I mean, the combination, again, there's no two that won't work together. Absolutely Beautiful. fantastic. There you go. That's going to give you a, a more accurate representation of what you're going to see when you get them home. You can see the sparkle from the garnet and the clear quartz and the beautiful luster from your black agate. And then, of course, even though you've got this very delicate two mil round, you can still experience the chatoyancy in your tiger's eye as well. We've already seen the popularity of seed beads this morning, and this is no exception. Lots and lots of people coming through on the free phone, and I have to say the garnet is awe-inspiring, isn't it? Look at that, because, you know, sometimes people might think of kind of like a ruby red with garnet, but you really do look for those kind of red wines, the Merlot tones, if you like, and that is what you've got here. They look it? like little pomegranate seeds. They do. Don't and they? Absolutely, yes. That's exactly what you're getting from this. Uh, beautiful colour tones, almost what I'd expect to see in kind of like road-like garnet, if you yeah. like. 
absolutely gorgeous. Uh, should be over 20 pounds. But this morning we're taking it down to 14.95. I did mention this previously, of course. Um, you might associate higher price points with larger carrot weights, but when you think about putting these strands together, in terms of not just cutting them and polishing them to two mil sizes, but also faceting them. That's uh, sometimes described as micro faceting. So it's a very, very difficult task. You have to be a very experienced lapidarist to actually be involved in that particular process. Two mil collection here for 14.95. Not again, not kind of price when you'd associate with these gemstones. It's certainly not with this finish, but that's what we're doing this morning. That's what we do here at Jury Maker. We make genuine gemstones as accessible as possible. And uh, this faceted two mil collection coming in right now at 14.95. A lot of people placing this in their basket this morning. And if that's you, make sure you're checking out, of course, uh, because I've got a lot of people coming through on the phone number to uh, multi-buy this particular deal. So uh, whether that's Soutash designers, micro macrame, perhaps uh, you might want to have that faceted finish. Uh, a huge influx of buyers just coming in on the free phone number 1495. I don't blame you. If you do enter a short queue, don't panic. You will be answered in the order in which you dial. One PMP per day here at Jewelry Maker. And of course, we've extended your money back guarantee until the end of January. Don't forget, of course, this is the final weekend in which we can guarantee delivery before Christmas. So I would probably suggest that even if you're umming and ahhing, you do get them home and make an informed decision once you see them in the flesh. 14.95, and uh, that's pretty incredible, really, isn't it? When you think about what you're getting there. Faceted, two mil rounds of clear quartz, black agate, golden tiger's eye, and those classic garnet tones as well. 14.95, um, if you are in that short queue, it's around about 60 seconds, so absolutely nothing to worry about. And you can take advantage of the value that we're offering you on Genuine Gemstones this morning. We are gonna move on, we've got a lot to get through. And, aha. Another wholesale deal for another essential here at Jewelry Maker this morning, and it's our earring findings. Now we have the rose gold variety on Friday morning, again, pretty much sold out while we were live. Um, we now have the silver variety. These are all silver plated findings, and I'll take you through the, uh, the different designs. You get 25 of each, you get 100 in total. 100 pairs, that is, sorry. So these are described as a fish earring finding. You can see where they're going with that because of the shape. Fantastic, aren't they? Then you've got the, uh, the traditional kind of round earring finding, 25 pairs of those. Then you get this uh, little harp-shaped finding. And also, I'll try and find this. These are gorgeous. They're kind of a swan-like shape or treble clef, if you like, depending on how you, uh, you see it. So you get 25 pairs of each design, all silver plated, and of course, you get your very useful storage container as well. Uh, so if you do want to get involved, this an essential deal for all jewellery makers, and actually it'd be a great gift for a jewellery designer because everyone's going to have to make uh, earrings and these are perfect. Now currently this is available for 12 95 and there's already a lot of people coming to. We are extremely busy this morning here on Jury Maker. Get involved as early as you can because sales manager Scott is offering us quite phenomenal price points. He's taking this down to 9 95 under £10 for 100 pairs of earring findings. Don't ask me. Don't ask me what he's doing. Well, we are trying to make these items as accessible as possible. We're trying to offer you the best value on the market, and that is exactly what we're doing at just 9.95 for 100 pairs of silver-plated earring findings. And they're quite significant in terms of their size, aren't they? They're, they're statement earring designs on many occasions. So you've got those fa four fantastic different types of design all silver plated, 25 pairs of each, giving you 100 pairs in total, all for less than 10 pounds this morning. Uh, we do have a bit of a queue forming once again on the free phone number because we're so busy. And of course, you'd expect us to be busy when we're giving you these kind of prices. There we can show you everything you're gonna get hold of for less than 10 pounds. And of course, this is a fantastic way to expand 
the, uh, the kind of collection of jewellery that you're offering your customers, or of course, if you are just a hobbyist and you're creating jewellery designs for yourself, why not invest in this? Because of course you can, uh, you never want to find that you have a design in mind, but you don't have the appropriate finding to realize that creation. If you stock up on a hundred pairs, you know that these are gonna last you an awfully long time, especially if like Lauren, you are multi-buying this item this morning. So you've got two of these heading your way, 200 pairs of earrings, uh, under 10 pounds this morning for this particular item. Silver plated earring findings, 25 pairs of each individual design. Again, lots and lots of people still coming through, both on the free phone number and place them in their basket at jewelrymaker.com. 9.95, can't go wrong, can you? Amazing deal. We're gonna move on. See what we can fit into today's show. Wow. How many of these do we have? Oh, it's gonna last about 10 seconds. <laughs> Start dialing right now. Look at this, bezel set gemstones, and these are smoky quartz, so it's one of our most popular gemstones. Have a look at the carving on the surface of the gemstone. I'll try and just show you this. Beautiful clarity to the smoky quartz itself, and that allows this flower carving on the surface of a gemstone to come through beautifully. So much detailing. That is exquisite. Now these are set into gold-plated sterling silver. <sighs> I mean, could these be any more prestigious? And you can be very, very sparing with this particular item. There you go, flying out the door. Did try to warn you needed to get on the phone line very, very quickly. Almost half the stock's already been allocated on this particular item. And here comes your price point this morning, 34.95. You can make that back off one design, I reckon. Gold plated sterling silver. And of course, these are the kind of items that really do enhance the creations you can create because, well, even if you're a silversmither, you'd probably find it quite difficult to get hold of even the gemstones because look at how intricate the carving is, you can see it much more clearly there on the recording, that beautiful flower carving on the surface of the smoky quartz. And that almost highlights the quality of the smoky quartz itself. Because you wouldn't bezel set the smoky quartz if it was sort of heavily included. You wouldn't be able to carve into it. So top quality smoky quartz, then you've got this hand carving on the surface, all set into gold plated sterling silver this morning. These are beautiful elongated pear-shaped drops. They're 26 by 14 millimeters in size. You get five individual gemstones on the strand itself, each one crying out to be used as a pendant, a feature pendant, I should say. Those are phenomenal, aren't they? 34.95 is your price point this morning. And uh, congratulations if you're coming through to add that to your order. Beautiful. Yeah, if you have got these placed in your basket, I would advise that you check out now because uh, the phone buyers are starting to come through and uh, I can see this being a sellout deal this morning. 34.95, fantastic deal. I mean, every single aspect of these is just exuding luxury, isn't it? Absolutely amazing. 34.95, uh, we'll leave that one with you as the uh, call centre and the help team start to deal with all of your calls. I'm going to move over now because we have been joined by our Sunday Experience ladies. Hello everybody, Hi. all right? So, um, I hope these are right. <laughs> this is, <laughs> I know that you're Nikki because I met you this morning, yeah. didn't I? Um, and then Anne and Julia. Nice to meet you all. Have you having fun? Yes. yes. Has We're Debbie been uh, behaving herself in there? I know what no. she's like. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, uh, we'll start at this end of that. So actually, it's easier if I move into the middle, actually, isn't it? I'll, I'll, uh, yeah, there we go. Okay, so we go down this end. So, Julie, you've been working with one of our bundles this morning. Yes, the clear quartz and the hematite and the pearls. They are gorgeous. Oh, we've yes, we've already had a look at this. The pearls are exquisite, aren't they? They're gorgeous. I love pearls. Every, oh, yeah, everybody loves pearls, don't they? Absolutely fantastic. So do you find this uh, bundle quite inspirational? 
Yes, I think I've used everything. <laughs> Every last pearl in the bundle has been used. And then Anne, you've been working with a, ooh, is this kind of like our, our ruby quartz that you've got here, I think? Yeah, I think right. so. yeah. Absolutely beautiful. Yes. So these are your nuggets. Yes. Yeah. And you've uh, created quite sort of classic designs, really, like yeah. a charm bracelet. Yeah, it's just simple. Keeping it simple like that. Where have you uh, come from today, Anne? Burnham on Sea in Somerset. Oh, right. So you've come quite a long yeah. way today. Yeah. Is there anybody you'd like to say uh, hello to this, this afternoon? Um, is it well, th I'd like to thank, I think it's Norman in the call centre, who directed us here after we got lost for an hour. Oh, there you <laughs> go. <laughs> Thanks, Norman. And uh, Julie, where have you come from, sorry? Rubri. Oh, Rubri just down the road. Yes. Ah, yes, that's where I go to the cinema. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, have you got anybody that you'd like to say good morning to? Oh, oh it's afternoon. Anyone who's watching who knows me. <laughs> there you go then. So, yeah, you are beautiful designs, ladies. And then, Nikki, uh, you've come along with, with Fiona. Fiona this morning, oh. haven't you? Um, just so from Coventry, I. Oh, there you go. I'm originally from Kenilworth, oh. Nikki, so I know it well. Oh, these are gorgeous designs that you've put together as well. In fact, um, you've been working with the three strands of red magnesite. Mm, it's very nice. And it's just come on screen right it's now. Uh, it should be 11.85 for all three strands. But salesman just got, you might have noticed, he's being a little bit silly this morning. 7.95 for three strands of gemstones. And then look at these inspirational designs that Nikki's put together for us. So uh, is there anybody watching at home, Nikki? You uh, I, don't, I don't know. You don't know. I don't know. You left at the I'm crack of door. It. Yeah, I did. I left. I left before anybody even sort of woke up. I think. So. There you go. So if you've woken up now, <laughs> Nikki says good afternoon. Morning, afternoon. Yeah. Fantastic. So um, you're having fun in there, then, ladies. Been. Yes, uh, it's been lovely. Creating yeah. designs, having lots of fun. Brilliant. There you go. <laughs> and uh, make sure Debbie behaves herself. I know what she's like. <laughs> 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 the wonderful Debbie. Thank you so much for joining us this morning yeah, and your designs are fantastic ladies thank, thank, you, thank you. you okay i've got to go back over there i'm being ordered back over to my desk thank you very much and um shall i just grab those magnesites because nikki's jewelry is beautiful we've just seen those designs have a look at these we've got the cuboids the rounds and the hearts here oh i tell you what valentine's jewelry the hearts would be very very useful 7.95 red hot winter nice they are quite um sort of passionate red tones aren't they i love the banding that you get on the magnesite actually i always think that these color tones they're almost similar to uh, imperial jasper that we used to have lots and lots of people coming through for this particular deal I suppose you can understand why it's an add it to your order price, isn't it? So if you've already got your order up and running, maybe you've taken advantage of some of the uh, deluxe wire mesh or, or wire ribbon, um, and you want to add to that order to make the most of your 1 PMP per day. 7.95, quite phenomenal, really. Wow. It's probably one of the most popular items of the morning so far. As I say, when you're getting three strands for 7.95, you can understand why, particularly when you're getting gemstones that are going to feed into the design process, like your hearts and your cubes, giving you a slightly different dynamic, I suppose, slightly different finish. And then you've got the classic rounds there as well, which are quite significant, 10 mil rounds there. Lots of people multi-buying this particular deal. Gorgeous. Gorgeous finish to each gemstone, but also an incredible price point. Uh, probably got about 40 of these placed in people's baskets. Don't forget to check out because a lot of the phone buyers are multi-buying. Sorry, sorry if I sound a little bit repetitive when I say that, but we get buyers every single day contacting me to say, I had an item in my basket and uh, when I went to check out, it was gone. Check out immediately. Otherwise, the phone buyer could pinch your item. You do need to be checking out as you move along through these items. 7 95 for a three-strand pack. I can't imagine anybody's going to be hanging around with this one if they come through on the phone line. So please make sure you are confirming your order, especially with Janet, Zena, Johan, all multi-buying this particular item. 7 95 for three strands. Very significant carrot weights as well. Uh, wow, is all I can say about that. And maybe... Um, Fiona's friend Nikki has inspired us there when we saw her designs. That's why everybody's getting involved. Amazing deal this morning. 7.95. Um, as I say, 
if you are getting involved you do need to check out your baskets uh, probably about 40 50 of those placing baskets okay so we started with uh, uh, 200 of this particular bundle but uh, well as you can see the quantity is quickly diminishing uh, it's catching up that's what I'll say uh, there are fewer than 150 in stock but it is catching up um, if you do want to get hold of this it is one of the most incredible price points certainly for this kind of carrot weight uh, you can see there roughly half the stocks already been allocated and um, again lots and lots of people yet to check out their baskets do not hang around on this particular deal uh, I think there's more like double figures of availability remaining in stock it's just that the quantity bar just cannot keep up with this money it has been an extremely busy morning as you can understand when we've been doing how many sorry of uh, 42 people with it placed in their baskets so uh, as you can see it is proving to be very very popular but some of the deals we brought you this morning have been amazing if you think about Sungia Sapphire at less than two pounds a carat rich faceted rubies of course the wire ribbon some of the pearl bundles the kits have all been at phenomenal prices two of our kits have been going under 20 pounds this morning we've also launched fiona's brand new memories in uh, resin dvd um we've had the chain collection haven't we 21 meters of chain we brought you this morning i mean the deals have been coming thick and fast we're down to double figures of availability on this particular item now 7.95 not the kind of price point you'd normally associate with these kind of carrot weights but that's what we do here at jewelry maker the best value on the market for genuine gemstones and they are continuing to fly out the door. If you are entering a short queue at jewellery uh, on the free phone number, sorry, then uh, make sure you're checking out to avoid disappointment. And if you are um, placing them in your basket, then check out immediately. Uh, we're going to move on. And we're now going to launch another premiere item this morning. This is the appetite chain. Now, this is just gorgeous. Tell you what, I have got a bit of a theory when it comes to appetite because it is very, very popular on the American market. This gemstone being used by a lot of designers, and uh, I have to say, I'm pretty sure it's only a matter of time before it crosses the pond and everyone's going to want to get hold of appetite. I love the icy blue set into the gold plated sterling silver as well. My favourite gemstones. It's gorgeous, isn't it? Yeah. Absolutely beautiful. Actually, I'll tell you what, it would go quite well with that teal ribbon mesh. Oh, yeah. It's a nice combo, isn't it? Mm. I love that. We're going to be launching that very, very soon because we are uh, entering, uh, well, the final 20 minutes or so of the show. So if you want to add to that order, don't forget the final weekend where we can guarantee delivery before Christmas. So definitely get involved as quickly as possible. Beautiful sky blue tones coming through from your appetite here. Faceted rondelles, they're three by two millimeters in size. You get a meter length. And, you know, we've had a, quite a number of varieties of this kind of rosary link chain in the past. Most of our designers just saying it would be almost impossible to recreate it at the price point that we offer it to you. If you did want to recreate this, you'd probably need more like three, three and a half meters of wire to recreate a meter length because there's so much wastage. It's, it's, it's not, it's sort of, when you see it like that, it's not worth wasting your time to make mm. it because it does take a long time to do it. Yeah, I think we worked out it would probably take about four or five hours yeah, to do Yeah, definitely. It. And when you're, if you're working on something like this for sort of four hours, you probably wouldn't have that uniform finish no. either because no, every now and then you probably miss yeah. a little bit of the finish, <laughs> wouldn't you? I can imagine that. And then of course, you've got to get hold of sort of a hundred individually faceted appetite gemstones yep and actually to source gold plated sterling silver wire this fine wouldn't be an easy task anyway no it isn't it's just it's just not worth the effort it's a, it's, what, it's a no-brainer isn't it yeah. you just you just need to buy it <laughs> <laughs> in every color there you go that's that's my advice 
<laughs> That's our expert's advice. Just buy it. Uh, well, we have just taken it under £20. Oh, and he's not stopping there. Until 9am tomorrow morning, taking it down to 17 95 So for all the people who came through early, congratulations. You've just made a little saving there. Um, actually, at 19 95 the value was out of this world. But at 17 95 again, I'm a little bit worried about Scott's mentality. <laughs> <laughs> Taking this down to an incredible price of 17.95. Um, uh, how many of these do we have in stock? Okay, just over 100 uh, when we first launched. There you go, 121 to be precise, but uh, they are quickly flying out the door, as you'd expect, because of course it's a classic finish, but with a little bit of a twist because you've got those faceted gemstones set into there. In fact, you know, we always talk about the rosary links that have been created, but we never hear any mention of actually creating rosaries from these, because of course they're really popular gifts to give as sort of christenings, or, or you know, when people are making yes, their first they are, years, they? those kind of things. So actually, you could actually create a rosary, but a yeah. gemstone rosary, that'd be amazing. Wouldn't it? You could do that and put, um, I know a while back we had some little tiny, um, Locket charms, yes. or key lock charms. You imagine doing one of those on sterling silver. Amazing. Um, be a fantastic little christening present, little we junior saw, um, size bracelet. Earlier on the Wall of Fame as well, didn't we? The little sort of yes. fit uh, style pendant that had been created, so you could set those onto the rosary. Yeah. You just have to be count lovely. out how many you need and whatever it is. Um, but I mean, to be honest, even if you wanted to create a body chain, for example, which are really on trend, aren't they? You could do that by a gemstone body chain, that would be amazing. Okay, those are continuing to fly out the door, and if you are waiting on the free phone number, stay where you are. You won't be disappointed when you get hold of your Appetite gold-plated sterling silver chain. Uh, I'm going to leave that to one side, and we're going to move on, and we're going to bring you another Fantastic little findings pack. Now these are hugely impressive because I always think of these as another quite good introductory product for a jewelry maker. If you're just thinking about getting started because you get all of the basic findings you're gonna need to get started. You get silver plated findings so you don't need to be too panicked nope. about uh, experimenting with the designs. You've got um, your jump rings. I think you get 20, yep, 20 six mil jump rings. You get your three by two mil little uh, cuboid beads. You've got these fancy loop earring findings. You get your S-shaped clasps, your toggle clasp, your shepherd hooks. You get a length of chain as well. And that is your oval link chain. It's four by two millimeters in size. And you also get 18 carats of black spinel. Black spinel, really popular at the moment, isn't it? In fact, we saw that fantastic valuation earlier where uh, one of our customers had used black spinel, moonstone, and pearls. And uh, I'm like, was it 450 yeah. pounds was the valuation. Of course, spinel is going to have had its addition into the value of that design because it is a very luxurious gemstone of course uh, black spinel thought to give you more luster than a black diamond so you know it's a very very exclusive gemstone the reason that it gives you that incredible luster is that it actually has the same isometric crystal structure as a diamond and so that's why you get that single refractive index which really gives you that beautiful luster these are spinel nuggets as well so they're going to have slight irregularities to the finish fantastic luster another Beautiful stocking filler at six ninety five. You'd be happy to pay that for the spinel. Let alone the fact that you get forty seven pieces of silver plated findings there as well. Absolutely amazing. That is a serious add it to your order deal, isn't it? That's the way to maximise on your one p and p per day. And uh, lots of people coming through for that particular deal. Lots of people multi buying this particular item. Amazing, six ninety five. That is amazing, isn't it? I'm blown away by this. We had the um, the amethyst variety uh, yesterday evening on the Late Show, and we were melting the phone lines at that price point. And again, this is going to be very, very popular. Just six ninety five. Um, silver plated findings there. Toggle clasp. S clasp, which can obviously be used as a, a clasp or a, maybe a little connector. You've got the little faceted cube spacer beads. 
You've got your shepherd hooks, your fancy earring findings there with the little uh, three loops, as well as 20 individual jump rings, a length of chain, and fantastic caraway of spinel nuggets as well, all for 6 95 Fantastic. Add it to your order deal there. Congratulations to Susan, Catherine, Tracy, Brenda. You're all grabbing two of those, and I'm not surprised at that price point. I'm going to leave that one with you because we're now going to have another look at the wire ribbons. Now we launched these earlier on this morning and uh, they are proved to be extremely popular. So the second people lay eyes on these, they want to work with them. And uh, we brought you the silver variety. They've all come in at the exact same launch price this morning and it just looks so beautiful, doesn't it? These are the kind of effects that you can create working with this design. You can see that. Beautiful silver tone. This was our most popular colour tone yesterday morning, the silver colour. $14.95 is the price point this morning for this particular item. It has been to be extremely popular. And it's basically like a deluxe wire mesh. It is. That's effectively what it is. It's all because of this sort of detailing in the centre of the wire mesh, taking us a long time to source this. Uh, at appropriate prices because it uh, has been very very expensive on the American market um, traditionally I think around about $48 but we've managed to launch it this morning at $14.95 that's the silver color tone there which has proved to be extremely popular there you, go, you can see it in uh, all its glory I think it's described as mercury but you know same difference mercury silver yeah. um, and then we brought the rose Coloured wire <coughs> ribbon this morning. Now this has actually proved to be the most popular colour this morning. There we go. Got it there in the end. This is fantastic. This design, beautiful sort of femininity from the rose variety. I mean, for me, it's all about the texture that you get with this, isn't it? It is. And you know, the silver one. It's almost like an antique silver. Mm. It's almost like it's it's been antiqued because of all the depths in it. Do you think these would work if you mix the colour tones? Would oh, that be effective? Yeah, definitely. Do you want a hand? <laughs> Sorry. I'll just put the other one down. <laughs> trying to do it one-handed. It wasn't working, was it? There we go. How about that? So you could mix these colour tones as well to create uh, an even more elaborate effect. So the rose variety also launched at fourteen ninety five this morning, and it has proved to be extremely popular. And uh, the mercury or silver variety, detailed at the bottom of your screen. Now we also brought you the, uh, the kind of antique bronze or uh, chocolate brown variety. Oh, it's described as sable on the packaging and uh, I'll show you the design that we had with that one as well fantastic finish on these and just goes to show this is a little bit more uh, experimental I suppose this particular design shows a different finish that you can create and of course it was launched at the exact same launch price of $14.95 this morning gorgeous colour tones there and uh, a sort of vintage look to this yeah. one and considering how sort of fine that wire, the, the wire is, especially that middle section, when you bend it over, as I've done in the um, central pendant that I did, mm -hmm. it's actually really strong. And um, that, that piece over there shows it because it, yes. it's got to have been joined to the, to the chain somehow. Yeah, it you is, can see it is the, really the solidity of, yeah. the, of the actual structure there. Yeah, absolutely. Fourteen ninety five for the, uh, the kind of more antique bronze looking wire ribbon there. 24 inches. In length. And I'm just going to give you. Um, now, I should just say there is one more uh, wire ribbon to bring you. And it is the, uh, the turquoise or teal variety. We know it's going to be popular. We're just going to go and have a look at Fiona's designs in one second. But first of all, I just did want to recap the fact that we brought you 21 meters of silver plated chain, rose gold plated chain, and yellow gold plated chain. So, so, sorry, yes, seven designs, a metre of each colour, so 21 metres in total, I should say. And I mean, these were just fantastic, weren't they? Because you had the Figaro chain, you had the little ball chain, you get all of the designs 
in each and every colour tone. So a metre of each length, seven different designs and all three of your most traditional metallic tones. Your yellow gold plated, your rose gold plated and your silver plated chain. All available in this one design. There you go, there's everything you're going to get and I mean the price point is just phenomenal. 39.95. So it all comes in your little handy storage box as well so that'll get you out of trouble if you're making a mess around the house with all your jewellery making uh, items. 39.95 for 21 metres of gold and silver plated chain and you've got the traditional curved chain, you've got the very fine chain, you've got the oval link chain, the figaro chain, the ball chain and uh, some more of the oval chain as well so that is just fantastic, I mean particularly that figaro chain so popular for adding texture and character to your designs absolutely beautiful. 39.95 for the matrix collection of chains there 21 metres in total. What else did we bring you this morning? Because they've all proved to be extremely popular. Yeah, what haven't we bring, brought you this morning? That'll be quicker, <laughs> wouldn't it? Uh, already brought you two varieties of corundum, two of the most prestigious varieties on the planet in terms of Songhia Sapphire. And we, I mean, the price point for that particular strand of sapphire was, well, mesmerising. We also brought you rich red rubies. These were very, very limited actually in availability. We've got some remaining in stock, so if you did want to grab your ruby this morning, you do need to be getting on those phone lines very, very quickly. If you've still got it hanging around in your baskets, check out to avoid disappointment. 37.95 for one of the most prestigious gemstones on the planet. Gorgeous rubies, faceted rondelles, and if you want to grab them, you need to be dialing that free phone number. 37.95 is the price point, but we are very limited in availability. We are going to now move over and have a look at what Fiona has created uh, because we gave Fiona a bit of a challenge with her shell pearl. We did. But then we added in the uh, the teal coloured. That Wire one's, ribbon. That one's not mine. Though. No, this is the design that was put together uh, that we saw earlier. Just shows how effective it can be. But then we've included it with the uh, the shell pearl challenge, haven't we? Okay, so it's described as a denim colour, but I'd say it's a bit richer than that. It's more it of a teal is. Color, it is more it? of a teal. It's it's definitely got a turquoise hue to it. Absolutely. And uh, we are going to launch it at the exact same price point, of course, fourteen ninety-five this morning. And how perfectly did it go with the amethyst shell pearl, the burgundy shell pearl, and of course the turquoise shell pearl? Absolutely fantastic. <laughs> That's available at the bottom of your screen. That was just six ninety-five for all three strands of shell pearl. Right now, you can add this gorgeous sort of turquoise coloured wire ribbon to your order. Twenty-four inch length again, and it's twenty mil in width. I mean. I've got to show you these designs. This this particular pendant, you can see here. But actually, it it's really the feature of the design, isn't it's, it? It is. It's just so simple. But the um, wire mesh is so malleable. There's just so much you could do to that. I've just got loads of ideas going around my head. As I'm sure other designers Inspirational have too. Yeah. Kind of concept. Yeah. This wire mesh. It does have such a luxurious feel to it, doesn't it? It does. I mean, the wire mesh. At first, people were a little bit confused about what to do with it but then once we started to experiment with it yeah it's become a, a real feature of and design. I think people were wondering well is it going to be strong enough is it going to be scratchy against the skin and of course it's none of those things it's so soft it's lovely and yet it's really it's a really sturdy um, wire as well really strong it's, it's I suppose it, for many people it's going to be the texture that you get from it it's yeah. going to add sort of layers into your design as well isn't it yeah definitely it's absolutely gorgeous. That's the uh, the design that was put together by uh, one of our resident jewellery makers. Beautiful with the little faceted rondelles in there as well, that, isn't it? Yeah. Gorgeous. Fourteen ninety five. Again, we have created a queue on the free phone number this afternoon. That's what we've been doing all day, really, <laughs> since nine am because of the amazing price points we've been looking at. Uh, so quite incredible the designs that we've seen here. Fourteen ninety five is our exclusive launch price. And uh, that is literally flying out the door this morning. We do have quite healthy stock levels, but you know, who knows whether it will last beyond today at $14.95. And um, I will just mention that we also launched Fiona's Capturing Memories in Resin DVD this morning. So a uh, lot of planning 
uh, that went into this DVD. And to be honest, the designs are just beautiful, aren't they? Well, I hope you like them. I like oh, I them. Love and them. Um, the bride and groom certainly like them. So. Okay. Oh, I don't, are they going to receive your they designs? Are, they are, are having their designs. Yeah. <laughs> They've been so, very uh, patient yeah, with I mean, There's something very, very special about this whole concept of setting um, sort of images from the big day into designs because it's so sentimental, so personal. Yeah, absolutely. It's amazing. And of course, as always, with our DVDs, and it will take you through a step-by-step -step process, make it very, very easy, even if you are a beginner. You can see here there's a there's an introduction just telling you, you know, what you'll need and yeah, how to set absolutely. up. Absolutely. And I'll take you sort of through all the preparation of the photographs, resizing them, um, you know, sort of making them so that they all are going to fit within a certain size and shape. Yeah. And it's just you, we we do break it down for you, that's the beauty of it. So you get a, basically an hour's worth of tutorage, you've got Fiona in your living room, <laughs> all for four ninety five. another add it to your order price. Um, basically, if you've already got your order from running, why not add that to your order as a stocking filler? Um, so just enough time, really, for me to thank Fiona for this morning. Thank you too, Amazing Ed, designs great. all morning, so thank you so thank much. You. Great inspiration, I'm sure you've all enjoyed the show. And of course, Scott, for all of the prices, <laughs> Cassandra, because uh, she's amazing, and uh, all of the team for putting together the show. Uh, now that it's the afternoon, there's so many people here, I can't mention everybody <laughs> by name. Uh, of course, the, uh, the people on the Sunday Experience, because their designs are also amazing. Coming up in uh, just a few seconds' time will be Debbie Kershaw with a metal stamping show. And then, what a treat. <laughs> I'll be back at 5 p.m. for the late show this evening. Don't miss out. <laughs> we'll find more. Add it to your order prices. Thank you and good afternoon. Come and join us this Christmas Day where the fabulous Carol will be playing Father Christmas and bringing you cheery deals throughout the festive morning. She will be bringing you a joyful deal on our mystery 10-strand bundle. She will also bring to you our ever-so-popular storage carry case, perfectly timed for